recording has started verified that okay and it's going and we're gonna get back to Deus Ex uh, full screen all right let's go ahead and load the game all right let's start the next mission now I'm trying to both take my time but uh, I just checked my progress and I'm like oh, we could we could stand to get <laughs> do some more progress here but um, <clears throat> It might pick up a little bit more after this, I don't remember. Uh, I know this for sure. Battery park. We know the NSF were moving material through here at one point. Seems like a good place to start looking. I saw you earlier. You're the guy they sent into the subway station. What the hell is this over here? It's a cat! Now he's pissed at me. I think I accidentally stepped. Well, I don't know how accidental it was, but I, I think stepped. We scared him off. Except for that one barrel of ambrosia, there's been no sign of the ship. Navarra. We've let some of the bums back. In. Okay, hold on. The cord's getting all tangled up. Who's this lady? This whole place just got shot up a few minutes ago. A few minutes ago, man. Uh, because I've spent a long time playing this thus far, so they really expect me to believe that this is all just like within one night. Honestly, Denton must be fucking exhausted. I guess those nano augments are keeping him uh, nice and spry. We sure appreciate the help, Lightning. <laughs> Something over there? No, no. Here's the boat landing where I came in last time. Wonder if I can still get into their air, their little base. It's probably all blocked off. Excuse me. Yeah, they they smashed the thing here. Yeah. And there was a. Hold on, let me just save real quick. I think I can swim underneath here. And, uh, let me turn this on. Nah, I can't get in that way. Turn this off and get out of the water. Okay, so we know there's supposed to be some more uh, augmentation canisters at the airport from a note that we read earlier. Guess I'll talk to some bums and, and whatnot in the... Uh, what is this? I guess this is uh, for the terrorist attack or this is a different memorial. I don't know. I'm not sure what it's for. Or maybe it's uh, people who've died of the Grey Death. Don't really remember. We lost the battle today. I admit it. Yes, Lord. You with the NSF? Had myself a division, mind you, back when we were the Northwest Secessionist Forces. Years ago. They thought they had us licked. Like they think they have us licked tonight. But look at me, young sir. We're God's army. And what infernal devil can stop God's army? Well, you take care of yourself. <clears throat> Found me two 30-06 clips. Now all I need's a gun. And then it's me and Satan. Yes, Satan. One last look into the devil's red eyes. Sounds like you served God admirably in the Northwest War. But maybe you should let a soldier from the younger generation take the clips off your hands. What do you want for him? Huh? You mean money? You want to buy him? Well, guess I'd take about 300 for each one. Uh, no, I don't want any of those. Check I'll back. check back with you later. I wish I could improve the efficacy of the, uh, the, uh, trank gun so that it drops people just a little bit faster, because I've been sniping them in the head and it hasn't seemed to have done much. Man, all this fucking beer everywhere. Is that all you people do? I'm one to talk. One pick. Get so cold. Yeah, like I said, we'll probably both get kicked out when whoever it is gets back. 
I live underground. I can think of safer places to camp. After all the fighting tonight. Eh, yeah, cops said I could be here. Besides, I ain't camping. <clears throat> I'm with the mole people. Why the name mole people? They call us that because we live underground. <laughs> like they're some kind of superior beings or something because they got more money than we do. Maybe you should join your people. Anywhere underground would be safer than Battery Park. The moles need someone topside. And besides, it's been pretty quiet. I'd rather be here than have the NSF tromping around with machine guns. The NSF are hiding out with the mole people? Yeah, they haven't hurt anybody. We guess it's all right. I need to contact the NSF. Think you could tell me how to find the moles? Sure. Just give me the password so I know they trust you. Underworld. Good. Long as they decided to give you... Nice. Access. Go to the phone booth in the subway station. The code's M-O-L-E. Mm -hmm. That's 6653. Okay, thanks. Sweet. Oh, when you get to the Brooklyn Bridge station, talk to Charlie. He'll get you into the tunnels where we live. Think it's true, the vaccine they got? Think it'd really kill you? It's super concentrated. I heard the NSF talking. They're gonna process it, though. Plenty of room around the fire. So we haven't upgraded our skills in a while, but once again, I'm sort of hesitant to do so. Um. And keeping out of the way, like they said. That you are, friend. That's that you are. How many lockpicks? I got 11 lockpicks. And we've pretty much explored Battery Park. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time here because we already did quite a bit of this last time, so. Let's um let's see about this uh, thing we can pick over here. It's right here, right? Or maybe it's right here. Here we go. One pick. Yeah, let's do it. I've got plenty of picks to spare. Let's go ahead and check it out. P220 book. Ah, well, that's one way. Okay. Hell is murky. That's what Macbeth said. They came through today. A bunch of the NSF boys set up a perimeter in the, in the shanty town and took some folks hostage down in the station. One of them told me it was necessary that the government made it. It was necessary that the government made it necessary. We're slaves if we don't. I remember her saying. And I asked her if she thought those people down in the station felt any more free for being strapped to a bunch of dynamite. She just looked at me, walked away. Kevin's dealing with them, says we don't risk anything by letting them use the tunnels, that we don't have no quarrel with anyone, but I wonder uh, about the hell and the roads paved to it. Well, I'm actually going to go ahead and... I don't know if that was worth a lockpick. I don't remember where my last save was, so... But we're just going to roll with it. That's another way to get the code if you if you would like. Jot down another note. Okay, so this looks to be the phone. I don't know if this is the right phone. Sorry I didn't need your help on the island. I hope it wasn't a wasted trip. No sweat, man. I got paid. That's what matters. A real patriot. I see it like this. It all balances out. Yanatko's just as much gun freaks as the militias. If everybody's gonna shoot it out, fine. So long as neither side wins and takes over the whole country. The goal of Yanatko is not conquest. It's the safety of ordinary people like yourself. I know an army when I see one. Look, I'll be blunt. Got any cash? There's a secret passage behind that phone booth over there. For 500, I'll tell you where to get the code. I already got the code to the phone booth, but thanks. Uh, can I actually go down to Hell's Kitchen? Let's check it out. No, I can't. Alright, so they're just like, hey, do a mission, bro. <laughs> Stop dicking around. How many before? Okay, I've got eight. Okay. Was it 6653?
Sorry guys, I'm taking some notes. Okay. Did it just reset? Oh, it reset. Well, I was. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. Okay. I don't know what happened last time. Oh, it took me all the way back up. Okay. Alright, so that's cool. Down in the mole people realm. Alright, let's go ahead and make a hard save here. Brooklyn Bridge Station. I don't know if we're gonna- I would love to have like friendly interactions with some of these NSF guys, but I guess they are supposed to be the main bad guys right now, so... Can't After place- the quakes, the homeless drifted down here. Junkies, runaways, grifters. There's a DSS file a mile long on this place. Some of them, the so-called mole people, have permanent living quarters in an adjacent tunnel system not on my map. Who the hell is this guy? Oh, he's a truck dealer. Files are 250. Know where I can find the mole people? Good neighbors keep each other's business private. You want to set a price? I'm a good neighbor. You want to buy something or not? I'm with you, Natco. Start talking. I ain't going back to jail. Let's try some word association. First word, ambrosia. Bitch, I ain't going back to jail. <laughs> oh, shit. Right in the chest. Uh, I'm not gonna do that again. Let's go ahead and load that previous. I, I don't want to waste the, many resources on this guy. I don't need to do that. That's a waste of time. After the quakes, the homeless drifted down here. Junkies, runaways, grifters. Okay. There's a DSS file a mile long on this place. Some of them, the so-called mole people, have permanent living quarters in an adjacent tunnel system not on my map. Let's talk to this mole person. Maybe he'll be more friendly. I hear the NSF are using the mole people hideout as a base. Are you the feds? We don't need a war down here. I work for you, Natco. Well, the NSF come through here, but they don't bother us. If we need help with anything, it's our plumbing. We lost pressure because of the explosions on South Street. My bad. Don't break. You tell me about the NSF, and I'll put in a word with the city about the water. The city don't know we got water, and they don't need to know. How about you fix it, and then I'll talk. I don't have much time. I would open the valve myself, but there was a cave-in. Utility door's blocked. It's up at the north end of the tracks, in case you want to take a look. Clearing a tunnel. That would require explosives. It could be done. A lamb would do the trick. It's just that I'm not gonna be the one to talk to the rooks. They'd probably sell us one, but they don't like people going into their turf, which is the whole upper level. Okay, so I'm gonna go clear. Where is north? That's north. Is this the one? Ah, my carumba. Dios mio. I'm guessing this is it. I don't know for sure. Yeah, it, that's gotta be it. Okay. Well, let's go back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and quick save and just toss it down there. Nicely done. Fuck 
you. Hundred skill points, nice. Oh, I could have gone. Pff, it's Deus Ex. I could have just done this, which probably preferable. But whatever. I did. I did what I did. I stand by it. Should be open now. Good. Glad to see you, UNETCO boys, do something for the community. Now, can you tell me about the NSF? The NSF? Yeah. They took over our tunnels. How do I get there? Go to the women's restroom on the other side of the station. Look for a keypad under the sink. Combinations 5482. Great. I'm glad I can help you out. Okay. Make a hard save. Okay, 25 skill points. Still haven't upgraded that many skills. Hold up, bro. What <laughs> is it? You on Rook's territory now. Just so you know. You call yourselves Rook's? That's right. Up here, it's business. You want to do business? Talk to El Rey. I'll keep that in mind. I might talk to El Rey. I don't know. I don't know what's going on up here. This is worse messing around with up here. But we're going to explore. We're going to check it out. I've never been here before. Nice, a multi-tool. That's that, that was a good find. I'd say that was worth it. Okay, let's get out of these turnstiles. Just take it easy, bro. I, cool. I do take it easy and I do like to be cool, so I think we're I think we're good. What's up? No one up here is looking for a fight. Me neither. So I think we should all get along. Just fine. You wanna talk to El Ray? That's cool. Kinda wanna break that open. But I don't wanna piss anybody off either, you know. Sorry, my just my eyes are glowing, lighting up. My apologies. You ain't all that. Hey, bro, what's with the get up? Charlie says you sell explosives. Yeah. Charlie should mind his own business. How much? Whoa, 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 whoa. We ain't talking firecrackers, understand? What I got it comes from a guy at Unetco. Hardcore munitions and shit. How much? I got a lamb. You know what that is? Seven fifty. Pretty steep for second-hand goods. Either that or you work for it. You in the fighting? I need someone to take care of the dealer downstairs. I'll think about it. I'm not gonna do any you of that. You want it for free? You know what to do. Well, that wouldn't be free. I'm exchanging instead of a, a currency, a service. Back off. Your business talk to El Rey. I guess we're all still chill with each other, so that's good. I'm done with those guys. This is the ladies' the restaurant. Doctors in that clinic. They ain't worth five credits. I agree. They were assholes. Who's this lady? Hi, honey. I don't handle the money. Talk to Charlie. You want Zyme? Talk to the guy in the corner. His name's Rob. Charlie. Wait, Charlie was the guy. So he's running the. Prostitution? Oh, he seems so nice. He's a pimp. I don't like him as much now. Or unless this is Charlie, I don't know. Hey man, you got any zyme? Don't have any zyme. Just a little bit. A crumb. I said you're out of luck. Okay, so there's a bunch of ways to do this actually. I want you guys to keep this in mind. So there's, first of all, getting the code upstairs. I went to the underworld bar and I did some favors for some people. So they told me the code uh, to say that I was cool. And that's why the guy upstairs told me the mole people thing. Or I could have picked the lock on that trunk to read the note that the, the code to get in was the mole people thing. Uh, or the 6653 or whatever. Or I could have uh, paid that guy, the guy upstairs for it. There's a bunch of different ways to get it, or I could have just hacked it with a multi-tool. And then down here, if I had some extra Zymer I wanted to buy some from the drug dealer, I could have given it to him, he probably would have told me the code. I could have killed the drug dealer for uh, the L-Rays, or whatever. Um, 
Or I helped out Charlie, and uh, I think that was Charlie, and he did the, he gave me the code. Black helicopters, a concern, says Senator. As sightings of ominous black helicopters, it's just right on the nose, become increasingly common across the country from Manhattan to the SoCal shores, many citizens have grown concerned that these gunships are actually a sign that troops may be preparing to mobilize for some unknown action. Certainly this concerns me, said Senator Harry Jarvis, D. Texas, a member of the Armed Services Committee, I think... Uh, I intend to bring this up in our next committee meeting and ask some hard questions. UNAT co-director Joseph Manderley was more skeptical. If black helicopters are really being used for covert operations, then those responsible are doing a poor job of it. Manderley went on to say that UNATCO employed no, no such aircraft, which that's what I'm being uh, carted around in, and declined to pursue the matter uh, with any further any further claiming that it detracted from the serious nature of our mission. Joe Green, senior staff writer. I like this Joe Green. He's cut into the heart of it. He is the Alex Jones of this, uh, <laughs> not quite, but he's pretty close to the Alex Jones of this game. Problem is, he's right. Charlie. Be careful if there's a gunfight. Their family's living down there. Yeah, but you're a pimp, bro. I mean, I guess, I don't know. Not a fan of your work, I gotta be honest. I'm looking for the mole people. You don't want to camp with them. Trust me, they're too political. I don't need a place to camp. I started the mole people. I was there first. And then they made up committees that throw people out just because they don't like the way you look. How do I find them? Don't bother. They're elitist. And now the NSF is down there too. When I first played this game, everyone kept saying NSF and like the National Science Foundation. You have a problem? Get out! I got a bomb! A bomb's a bad choice for close-range combat. Might as well use it. Rock says I owe him. He won't even give me one vial for it. What kind of bomb? I think they said it was called a lamb. You looking to trade? I got a man. I need a vial of sign. Well, I guess this is the junkie you trade with. I guess you could trade with either of them. Oh, one is probably going to give you the code and the other one is going to give you the, the, the lamb. Oh, we just read this. I'm gonna kill Rock. Please do. But is this like a, just a kid just hanging out in a bathroom stall by himself? Leave me alone. Yeah, this is getting a little <laughs> compromising for J.C. Denton here. He doesn't want to be caught alone in a stall in some abandoned subway in New York City with a kid. Let's go in here. Nothing in there. Alright, so. It said under the sink, I think. Yeah, there we go. What was the code? 5482. Nice. Excellent. I remember not liking this mission too much, but we'll see. I will say this, some of the combat and stuff you have to do hasn't gotten that much better for me this playthrough. I'm just enjoying more of the RPG aspects. Oh, that's a guy I don't want to talk to. These are cool people. so low on ammo for this thing. There was no place to restock my inventory. That's the that's the horseshit of this game. Like, just give me a store. You keep giving me all these credits and nothing to spend it on. Gotta be down by now, yeah. Okay. I got a soda can, fantastic. It's my lucky day. Alright, let's go ahead and quick quick save. 
and we're gonna go ahead and try and snipe the other guy when he comes around here. Let's try and get better at something. Let me check my skills real quick. I have 4350 now skill points that I can use, so I could potentially do weapons pistol, make that better, so that I get better. It's a little bit easier to use this. Um, train advanced, that might be good, pistol. Because then I'll be advanced and then it's just one more after that. And then lock picking only 1800 would be nice. Weapons low tech only 1350, so... Assault rifle, sniper, and shotguns. <sighs> Security consoles. Use terminals to read bulletins and news. Agent can hack ATMs, computers, and security consoles. Are trained advanced agent achieves a moderate increase in detection countdowns and a moderate decrease in lockout times, as well as gaining the ability to control automated t gun turrets. Could be useful, master, and that's twenty-two fifty. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's so hard to say, guys. You know. Well, actually, let me check it again. Hold again. Uh, skills. So, computer, and then master, agent, leak hacker. That few system that doesn't really mean anything to me. Untrained. Agent can heal slightly more damage than reduced period of toxic poisoning. Uh, agent can heal moderately more damage and a further reduced period of perform a heart bay pass without with household materials i don't know if i want to be a master in that but uh, eventually I'll, I'll up that efficiency with an agent uh, bypasses security and increases slightly um, efficiency with, with an agent bypasses security increases moderately that will be good to have at one point lock picking them i haven't found so much of a need for yet but i don't want to like discount it environmental training who cares weapons demolition probably not going to do it just yet low tech I might need to do at some point so we're looking at yeah we're gonna be looking at the pistol low tech electronics computer and then eventually uh, weapons low tech and medicine I would love to stock up on fucking darts if I just could and then I that would be my specialty I would just be like the crossbow pistol guy uh, but uh, let's hold off on that for a second so I think we already quick saved. Oh shit. I didn't mean to. Hello? I think I missed him. Yeah, okay, so my accuracy is pretty down. That's not good. Alright, let's go ahead and... Actually, we can just... It's just a quick save, so we can just quick look. I'm gonna have to get closer to take him out. getting low on these fucking darts. Shit. Alright. Let's make another hard save. Hopefully one of them has some. Yes! The gods smile upon us, my friends. Didn't find anything. Did we check this guy yet? Didn't find anything. Okay. But at least we've got more ammo. Oh, shit. Okay, so let me go ahead and save. Fuck it, yeah. Let's do it. Damn it. Come back here, buddy. I have to snipe you. In a friendly and non-lethal way.
Where the hell did he go? Let's make another hard save just um, in case I can use the prod on this guy, because that might be better. Uh -oh. Didn't find anything. Come on, man. I have nothing. I can't believe Deus Ex does not have a store. I'm gonna go ahead and quick save again. Can there please be some fucking. I wanna say there's a, a landmine in here on one of the walls. You gotta be careful. You know, I think we need an answer. Give me, give me a second, guys. I'm just gonna pause this real quick. Um, well, what is this thing called? Uh, this is called a baton. It's the baton. I didn't type that whole baton in this X non-lethal. Non-lethal melee weapon. God, God damn it! If I had only fucking known. Wouldn't be wasting all this time on. Uh, okay, well, okay, now we know. I wish it just. Here's the thing. I checked this damn thing, and it didn't say anything about non-lethal. So this is probably going to be our workhorse weapon now, because I, you know, and I might actually start investing. I, I may not. Um. Doesn't have the right code. Okay. Is there a toilet there? Oh my god, I couldn't even see that. Alright. Um, and he didn't have anything on him, okay. Well, I think we need to go back here regardless, for something. I'm going to quick save. Um, but that's good to know. You know, now we have a bunch of different ways of dealing with guys non-lethally. I don't think he's in range because the reticle's not coming up. There we go. I think he's in range now. I gotta run. Can run, bro. Run. 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 I wonder if that did the trick. There's nothing back there, I don't think. What I was about to say is, with the discovery that the stun ba or the baton is uh, non-lethal, um, it kind of changes the game a little bit because it's like, hmm, maybe I can, uh, maybe I don't need to invest any too many more skills into this because it's working fine the way it is. I'm trained in it, and it seems to be all I need. Cool. God, there's just no end to them. All right, let's go ahead and make a hard save. Uh, and then I can focus on, on other skills, because I like to be a hacker, and I like to be an infiltration guy. I don't see the other guy's uh, knocked out body, so I'm a little concerned. Let's come off to camo. What, what the hell does this stuff do? Integrating woven fiber optics and advanced computing system, Thermoctic Camo can render an agent invisible to both humans and bots by dynamically refracting light and radar waves. However, the high power drain makes it impractical for more than short term use, after which the circuitry is fused and it becomes useless. Charge remaining 100%. Well, that could also be useful. So, fire extinguisher, don't need that right now, don't need cigarettes. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about where the other guy went. 
Maybe he passed out down here and I just didn't see his body yet. Nope. No idea where he went. Okay, there's one of them. Looks like you've been overrun by NSF. They move supplies through here. There's nothing we can do about it. Anything recently? A bunch of barrels came through about an hour ago. Woke us all up. Where were they headed? They went through the bathroom like they always do. Only way to get a key is from the NSF commander. The guy lives to the south. But I bet he'd die first. Some of the terrorists actually live down here? It's a secret room. You open the door by pushing a brick, they keep hidden behind some cardboard boxes. I'll have a talk with them. You won't have to worry about the NSF for much longer. Okay. Alright, that's good to know. My environmental resistance is F9, so I'm going to have to keep that in mind, because what I may do to take out the commander is toss a gas grenade. Fucking damn it. Okay, where's the... Did I already... Okay, good. Let me go this way. Let's talk to this Looks guy. Like you've been overrun. They move. And what? They some pizza. Okay. What the fuck, dude? Okay. That should take care of him eventually. Hopefully, he doesn't raise an alarm before he. Passes out. Die, 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 die. Pass out. Come on. Go, go, go. Sleepy, sleepy. Sleepy, sleepy. Damn it. Well, that's not what I wanted. Let's try and score a headshot this time, shall we? That should do it. I don't know for sure, though. You know what, even if he activates the alarm, it's not the end of the world. He'll pass out at some point. That was not a good use of ammo. Okay. I'm gonna try and keep my distance now. If they want to come down here, I can get into a fight. But since this does do a fair amount of... We may actually want to start upgrading our melee abilities. Did they both pass out in the same place? EMP grenade. Okay, sweet. Oh, can I pick... I think... Yes! Yes! Can recover ammo, that's so awesome! Alright, so. Let's make another hard save. Save. Let's check our skills again. Alright, how much is the fucking low tech weapons? Yeah, since that's cheaper than pistol, we're gonna go ahead and get trained. And. No, it wasn't this that we were gonna do electronics we might want this so we can conserve our use of multi-tools it is 3600 though uh, we don't even have the money for it anymore okay environmental training oh this is actually not that useless because it's armor suits camo I thought it was just for like breathing gas or whatever uh, demolition I don't think I'll need those. Okay, so we're. I think that was a good use because then that w we can use the stun prod and the. Uh, and this thing, the baton. And they'll both be more effective. Um, which is perfect. Get some more thermoptic camo. That might be good for some uh, areas with. Uh, Oh, this might be where one of the guys was unconscious. Yeah, that's where the guy was, the other guy that I shot. Okay, so he died down there. Not died, he's unconscious. Okay.
Okay, let's go to this. I, I have... saw somebody. Oh shit. Maybe just a homeless guy. Forget it, I was hearing things. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a hard save here. And let's try and snipe this guy. That didn't work. Okay, let's load that save. I don't want to waste uh, ammo if we don't have to because it's getting pretty scarce, so... Conscious! Fantastic. Mole person. Animal carcass. I thought there were two guys in here. Um, actually, you know what? That's not a good use uh, if it's just one guy. So we're going to reload. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to conserve ammo. So we're actually going to go in here. Okay, that hit him. If he wants to come fight, he knows where I am. Most likely passed out now. I think I just heard him pass out. Okay, another lockpick. Damn. Just inundated with lockpicks, but nothing else. I need trank darts, people. Don't need a combat knife. Didn't find anything. Okay. Took him out already. Just soda and beer, like every other fucking place around here. So he said there was something about br uh, cardboard boxes and bricks in the wall. As Pink Floyd says, all in all, you're just another brick in the wall, my friends. And I hear something. There we go. Let's go ahead and make a new hard save. I saw a green thing on him, so maybe he wants to talk. I surrender. The mole people say the Ambrosia came through here an hour ago. I'll cooperate. Relax. Key to the men's restroom is on the table. This better not be a joke. Hey, I'm just an accountant. I know the body armor looks threatening, but I'm part-time. Like a reservist. I don't want any trouble. Okay. Sweet. Uh, pepper cartridge. Don't need a pistol. Here's the nano key. Don't need a crowbar. He's got a nice little setup down here. Terrorist. Keys on the corner of the table. I never wanted to see action. Nice little table here. I know when to stand down. Okay. Sounds good. Let's check our dart gun. Yeah, we need to reload that. It should have four rounds. Oh, just one round. We're so screwed. Two rounds on this. But the baton. The baton is forever. You're the spy, huh? I am the spy. You from the feds? We don't need any help. You with the police? They just moved a bunch of barrels through here. You still have time to catch them. Take it easy, I'm on your side. Okay, Duke. The metal guys knew you were coming. The metal guys. Maybe the NSF. Or maybe they're talking about someone different. Some other agents. I know a secret. What's the secret? Yeah. It's about the NSF commander. You know how he gets in a secret room? I give up. He does something with the brick behind those cardboard boxes. 
It's true. I saw it. I believe you. I was just over there myself. I like how the dialogue changes depending on what you've done or not done. Again, you know, it has that uh, very RPG quality to it. Now, if I remember correctly, there are mines in here, so let me go ahead and quick save. It's been forever since I played this, but a lot of it's coming back to me now. Okay, 100 skill points, very nice. I remember this area. This part is... it doesn't suck. I mean, I don't know. I have a little bit better idea what I'm doing this time, so maybe it won't be too bad. There's a couple of levels that I just thoroughly relied on the... tunnels look like they come out somewhere by the airfield. Be careful, though. The terrorists probably expect intruders. Alright, well, let's go ahead and make another save here. Tripping those lasers trips the turrets. Danger hot. There's steam over here. So, I think I know what I'm gonna do. What the hell is this? So I can either lockpick this to turn off the steam, and I have 12 lockpicks, or 7 multi-tools to turn off the turrets. You know what, since I have so many lockpicks, why don't I do that? Let's go ahead and save again, because I don't know if it's the best. Use of lockpicks. What the f Okay. Seriously? Gonna make another hard save here. Oh shit. Uh, I only have two ammo for this. I'm gonna go with the stun baton, beat the shit out of him. There we go, much better. Got a nano key. This guy over here. Okay, that was that was nicely done. That worked a hell of a lot better than I thought. And you know what? I'm glad that we upgraded uh, our melee weapon uh, skill because I think that's what really made the difference right there. So that's gonna make taking out some of these guys a bit easier, actually. Door strength three pick. Oh, phew, what am I doing? I'm like I don't have three picks. I mean, I do, but I'm not gonna use them for that. So, we could do this, or we could do this, and I think I'm going to do the, let's see, what does this button do? Let's quick save again and find out what it does. I can also hack this, that's two tools, that's ridiculous. I could stack some boxes and try and jump over, which we might do. We might do this. This is almost certainly going to be easier. Less of a resource cost, I think. I don't know for sure. I'm not a doctor. I don't see how this helps us at all. Oh, I could swim under there. I don't think this water is dangerous. I don't know for sure, though. Well, let's give it a try. It's like one of the few times where it's like, why, why didn't I pick better swimming? Oh god, come on man, Thank you. I'm so screwed now. Okay. That worked, thankfully. 
Oh my god, just climb up the fucking thing, okay. Alright, so we did that. Our lungs took a beating. Let's go ahead and make a hard save. It's better than dealing with all the other stuff in there. It, with all the, the use of green in this game, it's kind of hard to tell when something's not like toxic gas or something. Oh, for fuck's sake, these goddamn things. Come on, dude! I think I remember this bit too, hated this part. Alright, so... This is just the other side of that. See? So. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and swap this back and I'm gonna put these in here for EMP grenades. Really? Okay, hold on. At least we can grab another EMP grenade. I thought it was a button on the wall, that's why I didn't grab it. Okay, let's go ahead and quick save. Make sure that we can grab this stupid thing. Okay. Scanning area. I don't know if we want to use it on this damn thing, but maybe we should. Let's try uh, six. That was not what I wanted. Scanning area. Okay, that worked. Hurt myself a little bit, but that was much better than whatever else I was doing. Okay, so, um, let's put those away, and I saved my grenades, I thought I fried them, but I didn't. Okay, so, uh, let's quick save. I think the key to Deus Ex is, especially when you're not playing it like a shooter, which once again, I'm not entirely sure that you can. Um, I think one of the keys to Deus Ex is to uh, really try and think through each problem as best you can. You know, I'm just wasting bioelectric energy now. It's a waste of... Let's go ahead and hard save. I know I'm saving a shitload, guys, but much like Thief, it's a game that really, there is quite a bit of trial and error and experimentation and testing stuff and multi-tool, nice, data cube. Young, if you or Decker need access to my account, the login is etod and the password is St. Mary. Okay, etod, password is St. Mary. Be careful and I'll find you after this is all over, Aaron. Aaron Todd, I'm assuming. section of LaGuardia. Veer to the east. You should be able to take the elevator to ground level. If you hit trouble, double back across the platform. There's a sewer drain to the northwest which leads to a pond next to the airfield. We think we might know who's moving the shipment. More in a minute. Okay, so let's start getting our bearings, figure out where we're going, what we're doing, what we can do. I think that means that there's a camera on the other side of the door here. Which means I can't take this guy out until the camera's dealt with. There's some ambrosia.
Looks like you're on the right track. That's one of the three missing barrels of Ambrosia. We'll be sending a team to recover it. See if you find the other two. I'm gonna make a hard save here. This is not a terrible place to be. I'm away from the security cameras. I think I can maybe try and get both of these guys. I think we got. That was terrible. Awesome. Let me try something. This is maybe not the best place to be. Yeah, because there's a camera back this. there anyways. That's him. He's a cop. God. I'm just oh. scouting ahead to see if there's even worth being oh. here. That's him. He's a cop. That's him. God. He's a cop. I swear I heard something. Let's make a new hard save here. This might actually not be the worst place to be. First of all, let's go into health, heal. Let's go into skills. Okay, so we have 34, 75 skills. And one thing that we would like to increase is our electronic skill, which is 3,600, and that's pretty expensive. Lock picking might not be bad either. Um, our low tech weapons skill might also be good to. Uh, upgrade considering some of these things but we'll we'll see so um, we're gonna not touch our skills for right now it's still somewhat early game so I don't want to with it too much Fuck. it's not good please don't come this way That's right, just go that way. We're gonna make another hard save here. I would love to upgrade my med skill so I don't have to spend so many med packs, or use so many med packs, but. Oh, fuck. That is a serious problem with the stealth in this game. I swear I heard something. Yeah, I heard nothing. Oy, oy, oy. I need a place to buy ammo for just such these events or for just such events as these. That's him. He's a cop. Did anyone else hear that? Didn't find anything great. And I wasted a fucking dart on him too.
As you guys can tell, I'm not very good at the stealth aspect of this game. Hopefully I can get the drop on that guy when he's doing whatever, when he stops freaking out. Or maybe he can see me and that's why he's freaking out. And it's not, his alert status isn't going down. We'll see. How many health kits do I have? Ten? Let's heal that. Okay. Much better. Yeah, I think that's why he's freaking out. So we're going to go ahead and make another hard save. And I think we're going to try and deal with this jerk. <laughs> Definitely don't want to get hit with 30 out of 6. Seriously? These guys aren't so tough. Fucking asshole. I'm really rethinking my... Uh, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down here till he forgets that I exist. Don't have the right code. Okay. He can still see me, I think. Let's try that. Out of sight, out of mind, yeah? Okay, make another new hard save. Take him out. I'm here. Oh. Fucking bitch. Alright, we're reloading that. That was horse shit. I need more consistency with this fucking thing. What the f why did he his AI reset? To, to alert status. Fuck. <sighs> I don't know if I want to keep fucking with this guy. Like, I want to explore more of the base, or this, this hangar, but it's just not worth it. Considering this situation that we're in. Where's the damn ladder? Why didn't I pick swimming? And why do they not let you buy equipment anywhere? There's no stores, there's no vendors, there's no pre-mission or pre-briefing area where it's like, hey, do you want to buy some fucking guns and stuff? So, once again, our lungs are damaged. Okay. What am I doing with this still on? Alright, I'm just trying to get my bearings here. Figure out what the hell we're supposed to be doing. What? Huh. 
the hell is the point of this place then? What? My guy said go to the sewers to the southwest, they'll dump you in a pond near wherever. And it's like, okay, well then, how the hell do we get out of here? Oh, maybe I can just jump straight across like that. Yeah, okay, there we go. That was stupid of me. All right, let's go ahead and make another hard save. Real quick, what are my, okay, goals? Second, locate the three mission brief barrels, or uh, three missing barrels, Yuneko. oh yeah, that's not happening. Kill the drug dealer in the brook, yeah, that's, that, that's not happening. Uh, unfortunately. Oh damn, I was hoping to get some more uh, XP and do some more side objectives, but whatever. Okay, we're just gonna check settings, game options. So I can't actually, much like Thief, you can't risk, well this is even worse, because you can't drop the difficulty down at any point. Well that sucks. I might have need of that at some point, because this game, it's not like hard hard, but you know, well here's, I know what's coming in, in later uh, parts of the game. Okay, what is this weapon mod? Reload. Increase reload speed. Uh, I guess I could probably use it for the Trank Gun again if they would just give me some damn ammo for the fucking thing. Occasionally, please. Sorry for my review, I'm gonna write down a couple of things. Now this this has no mods on it, by the way, guys. Actually, no, there is one mod, but apparently, from what I, all it does is it's a script that just modify. It, it calls for a prompt at the beginning. This is the terminal at LaGuardia, wow. owned by Juan Ivanovich Lebedev. We're certain, based on what you've discovered, that he's working with terrorists. Your orders are to locate and kill him. We're sending you a map of the airfield. There's one of the containers of Ambrosia. You know what it could do? Because it's... So, it we're, you know, it's not over yet. What we could do... Is, um... Find enough supplies to make a difference out here. And then go back. And I can fire from the water, I believe. But I'm out of ammo, so it doesn't matter. I'm hoping my exploration will be rewarded over here with like a. I don't want to have to like deal with that guy on the dock because I got nothing to deal with him. And I didn't see any caves I can swim into or anything yet, so. There's a lot of game. There's a lot of levels in this game that are just not perfect. There's a lot of issues with them. And uh, I seem to remember this part of this level being one of them. Once you get to the airfield, it's pretty okay. Um. I'm gonna wait for him to come back and then I'm gonna try and beat the shit out of him with this. Okay, that should work. Oh my god, really? How the fuck am I supposed to get up? Let me up, please. Okay, I can't get up anywhere here. Fantastic. What the fuck am I supposed to do, guys? Come on. Who's there? Keep them off. Seriously, what the fuck am I supposed to do? There's no ladder to get out. <laughs> what the fuck? I saw somebody. Maybe just a whole fascist.
Dude, this mission is fucked, dude. Seriously, how the fuck am I? Oh, never mind. I figured it out. Fucking asshole. Why does that take them out of the stun animation? I don't understand. Okay, god damn. That's a fucking nightmare. Okay. Alright, so we found this one. I technically found the other one too. I don't know why they didn't give it to me. Because um, I want all these side objectives completed. Uh, let's go ahead and... If we didn't say, I don't remember if we saved or not, so we're going to save just the difficult I you know the other thing too is that guys I am going non-lethal that's I'm artificially making it way harder on myself than it needs to be oh, okay. these assholes again probably could use that Giving me so many Omni tools, I just don't need that many. I kind of want to break into there. Fuck's sake, dude. Jesus! Alright, well, at least he's out of the picture. Criminy. All right, so once again, we're gonna save. It ain't easy being cheesy. Okay, we didn't read this data cube. Young, I've got a survey of the perimeter. Reports are coming back of someone heading this way through the tunnels. Don't know what their force is, course composition is, but it sounds bad. If I'm not back, load up the Ambrosia as soon as the boat arrives, and then head for the hangar. East gate is locked, so get the key. I'll meet you there, Decker. Alright, so, uh, let's go ahead and check our health. It's not so good, so we're gonna heal this and heal that. And what are our skills at? 3675. I do want more electronics, but, uh, it's not going to leave that much. And we need. It would be good to have health, potentially. Alright, so. God, I know. I'm feeling like, uh, I don't even know what to do. I feel so, uh, helpless right now. So, what I'm going to try, real quick, is I'm going to put. Uh, equip. We're going to try this. Should try and take a oh here we go all right so let's go ahead and make another save and let's hack this all right did I get E Todd St Mary let's try that E Todd just gonna make sure I typed that correct all right well let's go ahead and hack it then. So camera off, camera off, okay. Okay, we're gonna log out. Hmm. 
What is this? Guardian Scrambler Game broadcasts a short-range polymorphic broadband assault on the command frequencies used by almost all bots manufactured. Okay. Starting to rethink my no-kill rule because these guys are just driving me insane. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this for now. grab my shotgun again just in case white phosphorus rockets yeah if I if I end up uh, losing my mind with this I may go with uh, those it's pretty nasty stuff okay uh, let's once again save. I'm gonna go in here, uh, augs, and I'm gonna go ahead and use a cell. There we go, bioelectric energy is back up. out of here. Oh shit. One ammo for this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get that at secondary objective. I'm just hoping at some point they'll be like, Do you need to restock ammo? Here you go. At some point, please. Nobody has been dropping anything that I use, which is getting a little insane. check my images how am I here's the boathouse here's me there's the barracks this is where I think this is where the helicopter area was that I came from the airplane hangar is here military robot military robot barracks hmm Bitch, dance, the dance, let's go. Oh my god, I cannot keep track of him. Fucking Jesus. Oh, I could have climbed that. No, I couldn't. I thought I saw a ladder there. Oh, <sighs> okay. Fuck, dude. I'm using up so many health resources. It's trying to keep it non-lethal. Seriously?
Yeah, the barracks leads straight into the hangar, so that's good. Just hide them here. I can't think of a better spot. All right. <laughs> Let me see what the skill, sorry, the skills for these are. So here we go, 36, 35, uh, weapons low tech. Trained, advanced, accuracy damage and rate of attack are all increased moderately. An agent can render most opponents unconscious or dead with a single blow. That would be fucking awesome, actually. Um, I am almost tempted to just go with that if we're doing a non-lethal playthrough so that I can just... Okay, let's go ahead and pick this up. No, I heard so. God damn it, everything I do makes so much fucking noise. the crates crates Good. Med kit, data cube. Juan asked me uh, for the hangar door code. It's 5914. So this is hangar 5914. Okay. Tell Young Nugget his ass shot off. You know how I feel about him, and I will kill you if something happens. Take care, Aaron. There's a guy in the next room. I have one of these. I have none of this. One of these. What the hell is this P250? Disposable plasma based weapon developed by blah blah blah. Stealth pistol. Unfortunately, this test maintaining small physical power restricts the weapon to a single shot. Despite its limited functionality, P250 can be lethal at close range. I don't want lethal. Hmm. Well, we've come this far. Let's just. It doesn't have the right code. Of course it doesn't. I know I heard. You. Yeah, I'll kill you with my thing. Nice. Okay, carefully, guys. I didn't even check to see if there was anyone in here or not. I just made the assumption that there was no one in here. Yeah, I forgot. Deus Ex is no joke. It's not like a, a walk in the park kind of game. You really gotta... 
you know. It's uh, it's it's got it's a little difficult. All right, so let's go ahead and save. I know we can easily get in and out of that room. We may have even uh, grabbed some keys for the footwalkers here. Nope. Nope. Get away from me. Nope. Okay, I guess not. So, not yet. But now I think we're going to try and take out his buddy downstairs. I wonder how much it would cost to max out the melee. See, one thing I sort of noticed was I think the reason I've been having trouble sneaking up behind them like that is that the the they, you probably do more damage to the head to knock them out or whatever based on hitting them in the torso or hitting them close to the head and being low to the ground like this based on his hitbox and, and where the swing is going it just doesn't work like that because when I'm chasing guys down I have a lot less trouble um, knocking them out and it's because I'm in a standing position versus a crouch so Please be some more health items or something. Yeah, I got it. It's gonna heal up over here as much as I can. Just imagine JC didn't like crouched in the kitchen here, just with his mouth under the faucet, just emptying the damn. <laughs> uh, uh, what are these called? Water cooler in his mouth. Okay, it's out of water. I drank the house dry. Fantastic. Surprised there's no soy product food or whatever around here. Oh, here we go. I spoke too soon. You know what? Actually, uh, let's see what my health is right now. 38 of 142. Everything's pretty bad. So we're going to go in here and we're going to just... Uh, Thirty-eight, 163, 40. I don't know what the hell that healed. I guess it distributed them evenly or what... Some of these should have healed more than that by now. I don't know. Inventory. Uh, I'll get to the beer eventually. Let me use, like... I'll leave, like, two in the inventory. Is that a bug? It didn't heal at all. Okay, that's weird. As far as I know, as far as I can tell, it didn't heal at all. I wonder if that's a bug. I'll have to look into that if, uh, if that needs to be patched. Well, let's let's test it right now. So and uh, seasonal flooding minimal APR London United Kingdom. An article recently published in the Quarterly Journal of the Royal Meteorological Society indicates that worldwide flooding. Oh, excuse me. Uh, from melting ice caps will be significantly less this year than in previous years due to an unusually cold winter in the northern hemispheres. Dr. Tammy Bright, a professor of climatology at Oxford University, led the study and noted that global tides should rise by no more than one or two meters on average in most major cities throughout North America, Europe, Russia, and East Asia. For comparison, the high water mark in New York last year was four meters, requiring millions of credits and additional spending for a network of levees and pumps. While theories concerning the significant increase in days below freezing at either the pole at either pole are bound, the practical upshot is that the Arctic ice density has grown substantially when compared to any similar period in the last five years. Okay. I'm just gonna close these. Too. Wait, let me just unlock it first because I think I just locked myself in here. Oh shit. Are you serious? Uh. 
What the fuck? How did those guys not have the key to open this fucking door? Really? Oh my god, all the fucking... Seriously? Alright, where's the, where's the last save loaded? Okay, he's taken out. I think they're both in the bathroom here. Yeah. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna go around here. Now, we are gonna test this again. Um, so I'm gonna take numerical values on all of the health right there. And figure out what the hell's going on here. Because those should have... Uh, can't carry any more of those. Okay, so... Health. So we have head, 38, head, oh, that's torso. So T38, head, 32, right arm, 79, left arm, 63, right leg, 48, left leg, 90. Okay, so let's go ahead and eat everything we have. Our inventory. So let's go to our health now. Okay, head 93, torso still 38. Um, left arm is still 63, right arm is still 79, right leg 48, left leg 90. Okay, so it starts with the head first. So we got, we went from 32 on the head. Okay, so we got 60 health back by doing that. I think we, did we do this? No. Out of water, okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and quick save. Fantastic. Nice. <laughs> Can grab these. That's, that's very, like, thief-esque. Oh, shit. Somebody's talking. Alright, now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quick save and go into that room and see if any of those footlockers are worth picking. If there's anything in there valuable. Um, if not, because I have 11 lockpicks, so it's not like I'm hurting for lockpicks here. Problem is, is that this is your inventory for the whole game. It's not just like, oh... It's not like Thief, where it's like, oh, in the next mission you'll get a chance to buy some more stuff. So it's just like, you know, maybe I don't need these now, but I might need them later. Multi-tool, that's always nice to have. Buy electric cell. Ten multi-tools, that's pretty good. That's probably one we don't need to pick. don't need that many lambs, although they do occasionally come in handy. Hmm. Still have two versus a lockpick. I do find more lockpicks than I do lambs, so let's go ahead and load. I know this is cheap, guys, but uh, I'm having trouble with resource management right now, especially going non-lethal, so I'm just going to do this one and the other one in the corner and grab our stuff and then I think because we cannot finish the other secondary objective or it's not very likely because we have to go all the way back to that helicopter uh, hangar and if without a replenishment of supplies that's just not gonna happen I can tell you that right now um, so let's go ahead and quick save again crouch and what did we just say the code for this was 5914 There we go. Now we're getting to an interesting part of the game. There's something... Okay, I'm gonna say... What a twist! Okay. Because something's about to happen here. You can relax. 
Alex JC. I told the troops to stand down. That's right. I'm working for the NSF. I'll meet you at the 747. Now here's what's interesting. Excellent work. I underestimated your abilities. You work for the NSF? Listen to what I've got to say. We don't have much time. You got that right. UNATCO will have a team here in a few minutes. The Great Death is a man-made virus. You believe that? We have... Hold on, guys. Sorry. Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna load. If he says they stood down, so I'm gonna wait for the transmission, and then if he said the forces stood down, I may actually be able to go back to the helicopter. I told the troops to stand down. That's right. I'm working for the NSF. I'll meet you at the seven. Now I'm gonna test that. I'm gonna go outside and see if the outside troops have stood down as well, which means we can actually go complete that objective, but I don't know for sure. No. I didn't think so. Okay. You can relax, JC. I told the troops to stand down. That's right. For the NSF. I'll meet you at the 747. Well, since the troops have stood down, I'm gonna go. Okay, he's green, he's green, green, okay, looking good. So I'm actually gonna go see if there's any supplies we can pick up while we're doing this. So they're, they only Old stood fire. down. They've only stood down in here. Ooh, nice. What better accuracy modification? I think I know what I'm gonna upgrade. Which sucks, because I could be building myself into a corner. If the game's gonna reasonably dole out, let's see, base damage 25 plus 10%, base accuracy plus 17 goes to 77%, uh, four rounds, accuracy five feet. Okay, let's go ahead and. So it's 81% accuracy now, that's pretty good. And I'm not really using any other weapons so far, so I think that's okay. Um, full up on 10 mil. Dude, are they, got, are they ever gonna drop trank darts? Your brother's at the 747. I'm aware, just everyone relax, take a chill pill. So we're gonna do something. There's something we can do right now that I'm a little... I don't know if I want to do it yet or not. Um, actually, I think I do. Excellent work. <laughs> I underestimated your abilities. You work for the NSF? Listen to what I've got to say. We don't have much time. You got that right. UNATCO will have a team here in a few minutes. The Great Death is a man-made virus. Everyone up to the president is at UNATCO's mercy as long as UNATCO controls the supply of Ambrosia. You believe that? We have proof. We need to get the Ambrosia to Hong Kong. Heard of Tracer Tong? He can help us synthesize it ourselves. You better step away from the jet. Your boss is my next objective. Join us, JC. Talk to Lebedev. He can convince you. Okay, so uh, he's still gonna let me do my thing. Now, there's something we can do here, and I think I might actually do it. Um, I don't want to spoil anything if you guys haven't checked this out before, but uh, anyways... <sighs> well, I may have screwed it up. We may have to reload a save, um, but I'm going to try this. This is a nice plane. Yeah, I may have screwed it up a little bit. We'll see, though.
Midnight Sun, Black Helper. Oh, yeah, we already saw this one. But we're gonna try something. And we're gonna say. Just gonna call it Lamb. Let's go ahead and place this with this. So we're gonna try this. Uh, I have heard you can do something to this effect and uh, I would like to try it. So we may keep uh, reloading saves and, and doing interesting stuff till we get there, but. Juan, Decker let me know that Killian dropped off a canister recovered uh, during the operation. Decker wasn't sure what it was, but he put a suspension crate on board the plane coded to uh, 9905. Figured you'd know what to do with it. See you soon. Suspension crate on board the plane. Okay, you know what? I think we can actually, we might be able to find the last bit of Ambrosia. Uh, we might be able to complete that objective since we're, we're waiting. So, we may have to go back outside the plane. Or maybe it's on the plane. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Down in the hold. Please, for the love of Christ, put some. There we go. That's the last one. Good work. Oh, we did it all. Okay, great. Ah, look at this. What was it? What was the code? 9905, I believe. Uh, there we go. Very nice. Nicely done. Deftly, deftly. Repair bot, yes. Please recharge me. So, okay. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Uh, let's go ahead and check our goals and notes. And the only thing we didn't do is kill the drug dealer. So we did everything else. Uh, let's look at our skill points. 38.25, that's quite a bit of XP, but we'll probably get even more after we finish the mission. Um, I don't know what the point of this is. But that probably means I've just been having... I can't see. That's probably why I don't know what the point of this is. No, I literally think there's nothing here. I think this is just for... Decoration. Okay, we're gonna try this. We may have to redo some of this stuff, guys. But anyways, this is Lebedev, and he's, uh, I guess, one of the leaders of the NSF. Um, but he's our brother's contact in the NSF, so that's why we're talking to him. And uh, it sort of makes sense. I mean, why, if Ambrosia is important for curing the plague, um, and the NSF wants to distribute it, why are we being so... Uh, such hard asses about uh, recovering all of it. Um, I mean, you could say because it needs to be properly distributed to the people that need it, but as we can see on, you know, just with our own eyes when we walk through the streets, it's not being distributed, so. Um, sorry, guys, I'm just wasting time because I'm just like, eh, I hope this works the way I want it to. I surrender. What? Easy now, Agent. UNATCO has a policy against killing unarmed prisoners. We have much to learn from each other. We're assuming control of the airfield. The vaccine will be returned to the international authorities. Don't you want to hear why your brother came over to our side? He makes his own decisions. You know he wouldn't betray UNATCO without a reason. <laughs> Guess who that was? <laughs> I think we're gonna roll with that. That was Anna Navarre. She was supposed to come in and uh, arrest uh, this guy and reprimand us, but uh, she's dead now. I guess Paul must have convinced you. All right, we're alone. If you have proof of a conspiracy, let's hear it. The question you've got to ask, I'm surprised you haven't, is the obvious one. Who am I? Who made me, and for what purpose? UNATCO has briefed me on my augmentations. Get to the point. Your parents were murdered precisely because they could have told you the correct answer to that question. That's a pretty big claim. <laughs> Just you standing in the bed. <laughs> the ones you knew were employees. You were made by a cabal of technophiles so crazed for power that they would control not only governments and people, but the chemistry of our bodies as well. Your proof? You're the proof. 
you and Paul. When you get back to Yunatko, pay attention. Something's not right. You're really working for a group of conspirators called Majestic Twelve. You expect me to believe there's a group of people powerful enough to control the United Nations? The UN and UNATCO are just a couple of their tools. The hell? I don't need that pistol. UNATCO has already occupied the airfield. Just go through the motions and report back to Liberty Island. I can't do anything for you here. So we killed Anna Navarre. Uh, because she was supposed to come into this cutscene. Uh, but it doesn't count as us killing her, I don't Jesus, think. Jesus, that was Agent Navarre. I can't say I like the way she operated, but... Oh my god. Manderly will have you shot. We have to erase the log files. I'll protect you this time. You better have a good explanation. <laughs> uh, yeah, I took out Navarre. She was probably going to conspire against us, as we could tell. Uh from some of her emails and just her general attitude towards us. Her and Gunther Herman are totally compromised. I think, and I don't mean to be spoilery, spoilery guys, but, um, uh, so spoiler alert, but, uh, just skip ahead or whatever if, if you don't want to know spoils for the rest of the game, but, uh, she is a boss at some point in the game. You will have to fight her, and she can be pretty tough, um, and so that's one way of dealing with her. Um, so she's supposed to come in, I think, I don't remember what she's supposed to do either, uh, arrest the guy so you don't get a chance to talk to him, but that's one way of, uh, being able to hear him out. So yeah, here we go, and I'm very happy we completed all the objectives except for killing the drug dealer, which I didn't really care about, I don't, I don't know if I consider that, like, a real objective that we should or should not have, um, undertaken. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and save, we always have the what a twist save if we ever want to come back and see how things play out in a different way. Um, Scanning area. All clear, sir. Nice. Now I'm curious where I'm supposed to go. I guess I'll go back out this way. I wonder if I can have free access to some of the airfield. I seem to remember that that's not really the case. I guess it sort of is. All right, so let's before we go to the helicopter, let's see if we can't. Um, is there anything in here we might want? Let's go ahead and make another save because uh, we don't know. So yeah, now that we have free access to the airfield, we can go and see. Multi-tool, yeah. We have 12 damn multi-tools now? Ridiculous. This is one way that we can sort of resupply as well. Got to go back through here and try and find all the different areas where we couldn't uh, get to before. Hmm. Are there ladders on the sides here so we can get up? No, but we can grab boxes, can't we? From where? I don't really know. We can try and jump. Let's go ahead and quick save. Ooh. There we go, made that jump. Yeah, since, the, you know, they're not being light on resources. You know, we're only playing on medium, but what they are being light on is non-lethal resources. So there's all the lock picks and multi-tools and whatever you could want and all the ammo in the world, 30 odd six, whatever you want. Save again because this looks like a pretty tricky jump. And it is. Oh. 
Come on, buddy. This may not be the way to get in there. Almost. Almost. Is this possible? I'm kind of curious now if this jump is even possible. It's reminding me of that jump from Thief Gold, where it turns out to not be possible. I think. Mm, I don't think that's possible. Let's go ahead and load. Just looks like ammo, though. I don't think we're... Well, it could... I mean, I don't know what's in ammo crates. It could be... That's ah, fucking pissing me off. Come on, guy. You know what? We can try this and see what's even inside of it. That's a weapon mod. Alright, let's go ahead and load. We might want that weapon mod after all. going on with the jumping in this game it's just not good okay let's try this one don't know if we even need to be here no this is not a place to be okay, okay. all right so we're gonna maybe try and have to find some boxes or something to stack over there Here's one. This is annoying. I cannot believe this is the best me I mean, it might not be the best method to get in there, but certainly appears that way right now. Oh, excuse me, wrong. There we go. Let's go ahead and quick save. It's cool that they're going to cover up by just fucking murked Anna Navar. That one guy is, at least. Okay, quick save again, we got this all set up. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Come on! What in the fuck do you want? Is If there's a ladder over here, I'm gonna be lose my mind. No, there's not. I don't know what... Are you fucking serious? Maybe a barrel next to it? Fuck. This is ridiculous. There better be something amazing up there. Too heavy to lift. Uh, let's think about what we're saying before we say it.
Let's see if we can find another tiny box somewhere. Fuck. Seriously, what the fuck, guys? This is ridiculous. I cannot believe that this is the way to get in there. And there's no skill that I can upgrade either that has anything to do with jumping or jumping height. Excuse me, just do this thing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and save now. That didn't work, I was gonna lose it! Alright, so let's go ahead and make another solid save because for some reason everything we do in this game has to be overly difficult. Okay. Please be something awesome. Location accuracy. Okay, so what is the accuracy of this thing? 81%. Well, let's. Can Let's make the best Trank pistol in the world, 85%. Okay, we did all of that for 4% accuracy. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say it was worth it. Here's our, our monument that we've made. Okay, let's make another hard save. I know I'm saving all the time, guys. It's just... I don't want to risk, like, oh, I didn't save, even though I did all that fucking stuff that took forever. Hmm. I'd love to break back into the helicopter area and do all of it, take care of all of that. See what we missed in there. I bet you there's a bunch of good stuff in there. Oh, that's Gunther Herman. I don't want to talk to him. I think he ends the mission. I don't see any other boxes, though. We can try. We're going to try. Let's go ahead and try. Okay, some boxes over there, that's good. Okay. Nope, that's, you can't make that jump. Can go up there too, apparently. There mo those might have been for snipers, I'm not sure though. Okay. Finally, got some prod ammo. So we're actually going to try breaking back into that part of the airfield where the... Oh, shit. I left that on the whole time. God damn it. Okay. Sorry, guys. There's going to be a lot of backtracking here. Uh, if you want to skip to the end of the video, I won't blame you. This is just for my own edification. I want to see what I can get away with. You know? Um, and uh, I think we, like I said, I think we can swim back to that part where the helicopter was and all the guys that were really giving me a hard time. And if that is, um, what the, what is this? 5914. I don't know why I thought it was the other one. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be annoying. Is Paul still in here? I don't see him walking around with his ridiculous trench coat itself. I mean, not that my uh, wardrobe is any different, but still. Sorry, we're going in here, guys, because I accidentally left my uh, augs on, and I lost all my bioelectric energy, which is big no-no. 
So I'm just gonna go over here real quick. Recharge, please. Nice. Clear, sir. So we're gonna try swimming back into the helicopter bay. I don't know if it's a good use of time because I don't know if it's even possible. Um, but we're gonna try it because I don't want to go talk to Gunther Herman and then, and then miss out on like. Because again, our trank gun is like totally. F we're not getting any ammo for it. It would be nice to have gas grenades and all sorts of other stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a hard save here. Don't need that. You guys recall this is where we broke into the airfield from oh you know what ah that's how they cleverly do not let us go back yeah yeah okay never mind we can't go back better just get out of here and go you know what that's the easiest thing is to just load the save let's just go talk to Gunther Herman and get this over with And I think it's going to be hilarious if I'm totally missing, like, a vending machine of some kind or vendors that sell ammo or something. It's going to be hilarious because I'm I'm sitting here like, I need something, guys. All right, we're going to stay away from him. Break in here, elevator, restricted access. Actually, maybe this gets us back into the base. Is it not going to come up? I don't think it's coming up. Yeah, so that's how they keep you from going back to the beginning of the level there. I'm just going to look around here for some more boxes, but then we are out of here. And we are going to talk to Gunther. Gunther. Hjelman. Do not enter. I don't think I can enter. Does look like a lot of stuff. All right, we can try it. Oh, I see. It protects. Okay, so we're gonna go. It's five here. Okay, let's see if this stuff was worth all the health we just sacrificed. And a multi-tool, and two lockpicks. EMP grenade. Night vision goggles, who cares. 762 ammo. Open mod clip, which doesn't really help us, I don't think, that much. I don't think it was worth it, guys. Um, I mean, we are gonna heal, and I guess two lockpicks is not the end of the world. Nah, I just don't think it's worth it. Yeah. 
Actually, no, we can just. That was just a quick save. Okay. All done here. Let's go talk to What's His Face. Mandoli has assigned me the peacekeeping occupation of the airport. Standard procedure, it appears. I'm sure we can count on you. I want to be the one to execute Lebedev. Yeah, well, there was shooting on the 747. I didn't see what happened. Maybe Anna beat you to it. I will investigate. You might need backup. Hey, about my brother. A shame that we have to track down and kill one of our most advanced agents. At least we have one of you left. Don't you think we should give Paul a chance to explain himself? He's been with you, Natko, for years. Only one thing can happen when you break your oath to the coalition. What a douche. I'm not feeling so bad about killing his buddy now. Let's get out of here. Hunter told me about Paul. It's true. Paul's been working for the NSF. This is gonna shake up the coalition, JC. I don't know if you realized how important your brother was. The coalition will recover. I'm not so worried about the coalition. UN officials will probably get involved. You'll have to keep your head down if you're gonna come through this in one piece. Sure you're ready to head back to base? I'm ready. Let's move out. Get in. Wow, my crowbar that I dropped here earlier is still here. I think, oh no, that wasn't my crowbar. I dropped that somewhere else. Never mind. Sabat rounds. What the hell is a Sabat round? Shotgun shells surrounding a uh, solid core of tungsten that can punch through all but the thickest hardened steel armor at close range. However, its ballistic profile will result in minimal damage to soft targets. Okay, so that's for robots. That's actually pretty good. Was it Unat Unat Co? Excuse me, uh, zero zero one, and then Unat Co zero zero one. Oh, it's the, oh, Satcom, and then Satcom, and then Unat Co zero zero one. Okay, sorry. Tonight, right, we're just gonna hack it. Get camera off, two off, camera three off. Huh? No door access. Nothing this time for us. They did change the password. Like a bunch of jerks. Manderly wants you to stop by his office. Don't sweat it if he chews you out. I think you made the right decision by not killing him. What about the decision of murking uh, Anna Navarre? Yeah, well, I think a lot of these are the same. Don't worry. Manderly calmed down when he heard they picked up Lebedev. I don't understand. What are you doing? Hey, what the hell? Don't worry. Don't mind, don't mind me. I'm just gonna break in here and see what I can find. Paul Denton revoked. Effective immediately. Naco security. Lethal force. Uh, central security. Okay, that's right. just about my He's mainly upset about Paul. Right. 
Vanderly's blowing us up. You better go see him on the double. Uh, I'm gonna do my things first, the things that I like to do. It'll work for you. It's a question of who benefits society more. But who decides that? You? It's implicit. I think Paul just had a soft spot for the plague victims. Every human institution is like a pyramid. Those with ability are at the top. They're more important. Maybe it's the foundation that's important. When the foundation's gone, they make the decisions. They keep the machine running. Therefore, they must be protected first. I'm not saying Paul was right. It's basic tactics. Protect your command centers, your airstrips, your industrial zones. It's just the rationing. Seems like the government could pay VersaLife to manufacture more. VersaLife, uh, they make the Ambrosia, and they're in uh, they're a significant part of uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution, as far as I remember. Nope, I'm hacking your your stuff. Ugh. No email today. All right, got everything I need from here. They got they even got these right. We have these now. This trust me, this was not a thing in 1999. Roombas and such. I'm bursting at the seams with bioelectric cells, but once again, there's not a tranquilizer dart inside. This is mine. I don't know how many times I have to keep telling you guys that. Uh, I'm gonna take this trophy too, because I feel like it. I don't want this. It's a living. Oh, I broke the trophy. God damn it! Where's the ball? Where's the basketball? Oh, it's right there. Huh? Oh, come on. Why is it so slippery in here? How about this? Huh? There we go. This, uh, I'm just going to throw it back there. Have fun. Let's grab another multi-tool while we're here. Ooh, what's this? Weapon recoil. Weapon mod recoil. Mm, I haven't been dealing with too much recoil, so I don't know. I'll just keep that, I don't know, wherever. Augmentation canister. What is this? EMP shield or ballistic protection. Huh, that's going to be pretty tough. Maybe ballistic protection, so when I get into, like, if I have to get out of cover and get into a fight. The problem is it's on the F keys. I can't bind it to anything else, I think. Um, which means that if I, you know, I'm out of cover and it's like, oh, I just need to press, like, uh, shift real quick so that I can, um, wait, hold on. Yeah, I would, because I don't need to walk ever, so I would just replace shift with, uh, uh the ballistic protection. So that, um, you know, if I get spotted, it's just like, oh, just tap shift, then it's on, and then I can get shot while I'm hacking away with them with the baton. So we'll, we'll see about that. Username. Uh, oh, yeah, JCD Bionic. Okay. A. Jacobson, come by my office. We need to talk about that last mission in person, not influence. Come by my office after you've been degriefed by Manduli. Ooh, yeah, he's not happy because he covered for me. Merking Navarro. Ooh, I don't know if I want... There's nothing in there that I need. Sharp burning, almost electrical. How's your bioelectric left? It's always at a hundred percent. I like to stay prepared. Hold on, I gotta That's check something real right quick. There. Free radicals. You should charge your systems only when they've been significantly drained. I wasn't informed of that. It's a lot like an electric. This guy sounds like Wayun from uh time the battery loses its zero point. Just watch your levels. 
Interesting. Uh, DS9. Thanks, Doctor. Let me know how it goes. Who's also uh, Herbert West from Reanimator? Uh, sorry, you guys. I'm just gonna look this up real quick. Uh, is that him? I don't think it is. No, I don't think it is. That would have been awesome, though. banking terminal. I haven't needed any of that for a while. I forgot what my, uh, if I had a, an account number, I forgot what it was. I do like those lamps, though. Locking it so I can't get in. What about this one? Nope. Wait, hold on. There we go. Never mind. This this works. There we go. I was just like, why would they start locking now all of a sudden? There's never any goodies in here. Nice lock pick. Why is there no... I mean, I know there's a munitions place downstairs, but it's always like he has like three things to sell and they're all terrible. I chased them into the building. Weren't you scared? A little, but when I'm wearing this helmet, I've learned to set aside the instincts of a civilian and be completely <gasps> professional. They had assault guns. Tactically, I had the advantage. It was important to act before the situation changed. How you troopers do it, I can't imagine. My boy there is trying to set something up for later. My vest caught a few slugs, but I had a job to do. Glad one of the Dentons is gonna stick it out. Oh, yeesh. Everybody hates my brother. How do you think I feel about that, guys? Okay. Take the soda. I'll take the Bart. Nah, I can't carry it now. Too much stuff in my inventory. Uh, he's not down here, so I'm gonna go hack his stuff. Distribution, we need some 24 hours, canister, 10B, raw modules, encoder, regeneration, regeneration, augmentation, programmable, energy shield, medical directorate. Uh, actually, we're gonna have to rehack that or look for his. Uh... Let's see if we can find a way to just get into that because it says there's an, there might be an augmentation floating around here somewhere that I would love to have, so. <clears throat> Another med kit. How are we doing on med kits? Eight, so. Getting the stock back up. There it is. Augmentation canister. I don't have enough room. Ugh. Nine med kits. Ah, ah, ah. Alright, what do we got in here that we can get rid of? Oh, we can drink these. Bunch of augmentations now we're all starting to unlock. Let's go ahead and, and save. We're going to say aug because I don't know if we're going to be making good decisions with these. Back to the same old routine. Glad one of the Dentons is going to stick it out. Still can't get in there. This bothers me. Yes, please heal me first. Totally messed up. Nice. Augmentations, okay. So I can get a speed enhancement or I can run silent. Ooh, that's tough. And then EMP shield. Uh, nanoscale EMP generals 
EMP generators partially protect the individual nanites and reduce bioelectrical drain by canceling incoming pulses. Damage from EMP attacks is reduced slightly. Don't really care about that. And then we go. Damage from projectile and bladed weapons is reduced slightly. That's probably more... So far, that's what I've needed more. So I'm going to go ahead and install that one. Uh, speed and jumping are increased slightly while falling damage is reduced. Speed That could be good because I do like jumping more. I have to stack boxes less to get through places. Um, sound made while moving is reduced slightly. Can I change these? No, I can't change them once they're installed. One of the things that's nice about Invisible War uh, is that some of these selections aren't permanent. You can choose to turn things on and off. Um, yeah. I need to think about this because this would allow for more exploration, but I have been having issues just... It would be nice to be able to run silently, like straight up to someone and then knock them out. An agent is completely silent. Sound may while moving is reduced significantly. Hmm. I'm not going to make a decision on that one yet. I wish they did that. Ah, oh, that's such a shitty choice, having to choose between those two. Those two are really nice. Um, so we found the augs mentioned in that one email. Let's check out the rest of the emails in case there are any passwords or anything we might need. Excessive force, thank you for bringing- okay, uh, I understand that we're doing our best here, the Echo Charter will be thoroughly investigated, blah blah blah, best guess, thanks for the email, sorry, 24 is 3.10%, level 3 quarantine is your best, okay, I'm, I'm out of here, I don't want to get caught. It would be nice to have some world building from the stories there, but, um, I'm really just looking for codes, if nothing else. F3. Now, I really would like to settings, keyboard, mouse. Activate augmentation screen. Well, here's here's what you would do. Here's the way to do it. All right, if I get caught, I just hit tab, go over to augs, and then I just, you know, activate. There we go. That's what you would do. That's the best way to do it. Um... Much like how if I need a new weapon, I should just go here and then just like that. You would just say equip. So it's just like, oh, if I get caught with my pants down, it's like, oh, crap, I need my uh, whatever. I can just grab it from here. That's the best way to do it, I think. We've got him 14 tools. Still don't know the code, though. Let's see what's in here first before we start, you know, second guessing ourselves. Ho, ho. Damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. That's why we quick saved. Sorry. Super dark, can't see my keyboard. Alright, there we go. Did the same damn thing. You gotta be super careful not to waste these. It's worth it. Uh, a lockpick? No, that wasn't worth it. The multi tools have so much more utility, in my opinion. Speaking of which, got another one there.
Oh yeah, because I killed Anna Navarro, there's no more email. Guns are such a, Herman seems like such a meathead. He doesn't, I mean, they just send him in to kill stuff. He doesn't get any email, he doesn't get any intel, nothing. I don't know what they do with those NSF guys. It probably wasn't good. I think we can just sort of assume that. Yes, another prod charge would be fantastic. Thank you very much. Let's talk to the... Oh, even better. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Looking good. This still has nothing. Uh, okay, so... Let's go ahead and quick save. Talk. Ooh. I don't know if I noticed if there's crates in here before. I hope that I haven't, like, missed out on a ton of stuff because I just wasn't paying attention. Don't need buckshot. Don't need buckshot. How are you holding up? Not so good. I don't know who to trust anymore. No one blames you about Lebanon. You refused an order to kill in cold blood. Precisely your duty as a UNATCO peacekeeper. I think Manderly will. He'll cool down. The important thing is that you obey your conscience. Right. Tell me what you need, and I'll load you up. Yeah, thank you. Christ. Sniper rifle, 30 out 6, gap rocket. No, I need I'll this. I'll take the tranquilizer darts for the crossbow. A man of tactics. I like that. Just one... One mag, that's it? Ugh. Locked. Can't do nothing about it. All right, let's go get the briefing over with, or the debriefing, I should say, um, and then we will uh, start the next mission. Actually, after this, I think. I can believe it, JC. What got into Paul? I guess he got a better offer. What a blow! I don't know how we'll recover. It's almost like losing a son. I don't understand it myself, but we've got to go on. Is Manderly available? Go right in, JC. He has a lot to discuss. Okay. What's the idea, JC? See if she's got any dirt on here. Nope. Nobody's getting any email recently for some reason. I don't know you what the deal is. Keep him waiting. Already read that. That is not a multi-tool. It's a candy bar, I believe. No messages. That's enough, agent. Oh, cancel. We're just going off. JC. J. Mender Lee, and we're gonna go say, uh, what was it? Night Killer. Is it Manderly or Menderly? I think it's Manderly. That's what I messed up. Okay, I understand that we're what we're doing here isn't kid stuff, but I had an NSF trooper brought in to be treated prior to interrogation, suffering from multiple second-degree burns consistent with repeated application of a riot prod at close range. <laughs> One or two shocks at most should have been enough to incapacitate almost any individual. This man had at least seven distinct burn wounds. This is simply unacceptable and violates not only the commonly practiced rules of engagement, but my own medical ethics. I understand that this is not indicative of overall UNACO policy and would request that the incident be strenuously investigated uh, and those responsible were placed on suspension pending further investigation. I don't know if they're, if that's uh, in reference to me or if that's world building because it takes more than two hits sometimes to take them out. I've dispatched Agent Sherman to assist you in resolving your current problems and to ensure the that MJ-12 operations are not adversely effective. I trust you'll extend him your complete cooperation. So that guy's name is Agent Sherman, is it? Here, take your op bonus. One thousand. No use splitting hairs this time. I have some bad news about Agent Navarra. No shit. What the hell happened in there? <laughs> Lebedev. A surprise attack. 
I find that hard to believe. You're digging your own grave if you cover up for your brother. Yes, sir. I'm not covering up for Paul, sir. Because he's gone, JC. I hope you'll understand this. The Coalition has shut down his augmentations and activated the kill switch. Activated? What? Some very important officials have become nervous. Nervous about Paul, but also about you. I think I've proved myself. Can they really kill him by pressing a button? Yes, and you too. So take these orders seriously. They're sending you to Hong Kong. What about Paul? Will I get to see him again? Please, just get your equipment and meet our pilot jock at the helipad. I need to take out a man called Tracer Tong. Paul's contact in Hong Kong. Prove that they can trust you. JC? Yes. It's critical that they trust you. Okay, I already checked his computer. Weapon mod. You don't have enough for... That's a reload weapon mod. Unaco nabs terrorists in Hell's Kitchen raid, APR New York. A recent raid in, on Unaco's Liberty Island headquarters by members of the National Secessionist Forces, NSF, ended today when Unaco troops, working in conjunction with local police, assaulted a warehouse in Hell's Kitchen where NSF units were regrouping. While Unaco casualties were low, few NSF members survived the action, which Unaco director Joseph Menderley termed as suicidal, a suicidal last stand on their part. We negotiated for hours, said Manderley, and we were prepared to make arrangements for their surrender into custody when an attack was initiated against us by the NSF. We had no choice but to respond with force. Obviously, a complete inquiry into this terrible, unfortunate series of events will be undertaken as soon as possible. Uh, I left everybody alive, so I don't know what happened there. Well, I know what happened there, but it's getting a little ridiculous. Um... What can I get rid of? Recoil modification. I'm going to put it on this one. Uh, I may actually get rid of this. Yeah, I'll just get rid of that. I don't need this. Let's go ahead and drop that pistol. I don't need it because I already have the 10mm stealth pistol in case I want to go lethal. Um, here's another weapon mod. This is reload. Reload speed for the trank dart could be better. Let's see. Uh, recoil 0 out of 0, base accuracy, okay, so it's 85%, accuracy range 50 feet, reload time 2 seconds, minus 20%, 1.6 seconds, let's go ahead and drop this on there then, let's see what the reload time is now, 1.4 seconds, very nice, okay, it's kind of a bullshit actually, <laughs> that's not that much, but I did find it for free, it's not like it was hard to get that, is there anything under here I need now, once again, Keep moving this out of my office. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and save our game here. I think we did everything, although I don't want to carry these augs around forever, and we gotta make a decision. really don't know what to decide. The stealthy movement would be great. Hold on, let's, let's check something. Let's look at our skills. What are we trained in? Uh, weapons rifle, I almost regret that. We haven't really needed that and I don't think we're going to need it. Um, pistol, low tech, trained, 2700 gets us the next level, which could be pretty awesome. Um, and then electronics I would love to be, get higher in as well. Computer. I don't really need this right now. I'm going to upgrade this because there's something coming later in the game. I'm starting to rethink the no-kill thing. I think 
against certain factions, I'd like to keep it on a no-kill run. But there's definitely some people in this game that I wouldn't mind killing. Um, and we've kind of... We don't have... I mean, we're trained in these, so that's fine. We can use them if we need to. But I'd rather try this, so... Low-tech... And we have the ballistic protection, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade this again. I definitely want this one, but that's expensive, very expensive. So let's do this low-tech weapons, let's upgrade that. Yeah, okay, so now we're advanced. Um, that's going to be pretty cool, actually, I think, later. If we can level that up again. I don't know how much more XP we're going to start getting in here. Um, but yeah, so then 13, whatever we have left. Uh, there was something else I wanted to upgrade. Uh, I guess it was maybe lockpicking. It's 1,800. There was something that was 1,300 that I wanted to upgrade. Maybe that was this one. Um, medicine and then computer. Computer I'm not that concerned about, actually. If it comes to it later, we might do this one. I may want to just get trained in medicine at some point, but I don't think it's worth it right now. So the ones I'm going to be focusing on are electronics for sure. Um, this one, uh, low-tech weapons. And yeah, I think that's it. Those are the two I'm going to focus on. Everything else is just gravy. Lockpicking, so far, I mean, I'm usually finding enough lockpicks, even though my efficiency isn't that great. If this was closer to like 900, 600, I'd say, oh yeah, screw it, let's just get that. But it's kind of an expensive skill. I don't really need it right now. Later on, we might start using it. We might get it. Um, but right now, I think we're good. We don't need it. Health, hogs. And I'm really into exploration in this game or in these games. So as much as the moving silently could be really cool, I'm kind of thinking we're going to go for the... The jumping one. Although the... Yeah. Man, this is really tough. Well, here's the thing. We'd have to invest heavily into the skill. I mean, this one might be okay to... So far, there's nothing I really want to invest into. This might be useful for late game right here. Um... Yeah, well, I'm going to make another save for Augs. I mean, not like we're actually going to go back. If it turns out to suck... Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know how this playthrough is going to go. I think I'm going to stick with my decisions. But if it turns out to suck, it'll suck. But um, moving silently, although it would be nice, I just don't know. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and install, and then exit, and we're going to check our AUG screen, and for this one, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this one, because this is not going to come into play too much yet, um, and upgrading our um, skill with the melee weapons is helping, it's going to help with this, so we don't, this is going to be less of an issue uh, when that comes into consideration. This, I mean, as long as it's we're getting uh, toxic resistance and any kind of toxic resistance while we go into like gas clouds or whatever we're fine we may want to upgrade this so we can start moving bigger boxes at some point but I don't think it's going to be super critical yet um, so we're going to upgrade this one so now we have let's go check our inventory there we go we've freed up some spaces here um, and if we need to go lethal we can start using the knife and we'll get something later which is going to be really great for that I think I'm going to stick to the shotgun with Sabat rounds, that'll be good against um, robots if I don't have chan a chance to use uh, EMP rounds. So that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this so far. So yeah, those Sabat, I don't know why they just call them slugs. They sound like uh, slug rounds. You know, sounds like someone's got the Rona. decoration huh? 
I would be surprised if we go straight to Hong Kong from here. I don't think that's how these, this shakes out, but we'll see. So long, agent. I don't think the, the plot can't, like, parts of your day-to-day -day interactions with people in the game can change based on your actions, but from what Warren Spector and others have said, I don't think the plot changes that significantly just by doing some of these things. Gonna see if there's any boxes behind here with stuff I might need. Hold on, I gotta take a note. Himself. He just wanted me to get you to the hotel. Hmm. Okay. So this is Paul's apartment building. Oh shit, you know what? Okay, hold on. Never mind. On to. Alright, sorry, I, I gotta. I gotta. There was something I forgot to do in here. Um, let's go. Shit, we got all of our stuff just the way we wanted it. Come here. Uh, yeah, give me the speed. Okay. You may go. Augs. Speed. Uh, upgrade. Speed enhancement to level two. Wait, can this thing do bioelectric stuff too? I don't think it can. You need a repair bot for that. Yeah, this is a med bot. I need a repair. So I already talked to what's his face. We're good here. I could use some more bioelectric energy. Saved. What the hell were you thinking, JC? Agent Navarro was out of line. I had no choice. They'll have you killed. They won't even blink an eye. Neither did I. Well, watch what you say around Mandalay. Let's leave it at that. I've been in contact with Gunther, by the way. No sign of your brother at the airport. He sure caused his share of trouble. I don't know what to think anymore. I wonder what it is he found out. Why he'd defect. He thinks he has proof of a conspiracy. Wild stuff, huh? I'd like to hear what he has to say. If you hear from him, or if you find out where he is, don't worry about the info link. I'll erase the archives. You think he's right? Worth hearing him out. I've never known Paul to make a mistake. Okay, so I guess he's, I don't know, that's all the explanation he needed. So I was looking something up. There's something I saw in uh, Speedrun or something like that at Deus Ex, and we haven't found it yet, and it, I don't know if we're going to find it anytime soon, so I'm a little concerned. But anyways, um... Miss you, Agent. Huh? 
We'll miss you, Agent. That doesn't sound good. Strange you were reassigned so soon after only one day. I wonder if this robot. I think the robot left because he was repairing the, the panel here. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, did they put anything on these shelves again? No. Okay, now we're gonna do the thing with this guy. I'm taking you to New York. My orders are to go to Hong Kong. You already saw this. Wrong. Okay. I'll let him speak for himself. He just wanted. Me Sorry, I kind of, you know, I remember a lot of what happens in this game, so I, I know what's coming up next here, so it's like, you know, I'm trying to prep myself and do what I need to do. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and save again here. Now we're in Hell's Kitchen again. I'm just saving again so we don't have to like prep and go through a bunch of stuff. And... Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond, Chapter 12. A lot of people say, uh, we already read this. JC didn't have to do uh, P. Denton and Chameleon. Okay. can't see okay all right so I grabbed all the stuff from there that should help uh, let's save again and see if this setup is good is this kill switch real what's it going to do to you I'm afraid that's uh, classified Manderly said you're going to die you've got to have God clearance to to know. The nanites can be programmed for exponential growth. There's a chopper that can take us to Hong Kong. You know Jock? First, 
You're the only one that can help. I need to send the NSF distress code. UNATCO tracked Lebedev to the other NSF bases, and a silhouette in France. Go on. UNATCO takes payoffs. Silhouette, the other terrorist groups, they're our allies. I'm prepared to believe you. I killed Agent Navara, and I'll join you against UNATCO, but I want proof. You want proof? Pay a visit to the NSF headquarters. Down in the basement, protected by booby traps, a data cube sits on the edge of a table. My report to the militia leaders. Here, I have a photograph of the building. It's a couple blocks to the west, behind the bar. And I suppose while I'm there, you want me to encrypt a signal with the NSF transmitter, bypass UNATCO's SIGINT? A lot of people could die. My friend Chad, for example, a leader of Silhouette. Chad. <laughs> I'll check out the facility, but I can't promise I'll help the terrorists. Be ready to leave for Hong Kong when I get back. Okay, this was not the part I thought it was. Okay, I was mistaken. Any case. I'll just save these for later. Um, Alright, so, what are our goals? Investigate the captured NSF base to the west behind the bar to see if Paul is telling the truth about Yunako. If he is, help the rebels by sending a distress code from the satellite transmitter. Your brother's in trouble. Go to the apartment in Hell's Kitchen. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we said completed all of that. Um, Alright, then we don't want this equipped right now. We're going to switch back to this. And... Hog upgrade. We're going to put here. And we're going to put these right here. And for our augs, what do we want to upgrade, if anything? Maybe the subdermal? We'll think about it, I don't know. So let's get rid of this. Actually. Oh, Jesus. Did the druggies move out? I mean, they were all dead. I, I assume that they're not here anymore. Nope, they're still dead. I don't know why they have more stuff in their house now. Activity. Oh yeah, my, my fall damage is increased, so. Man, they are just giving out the multi-tools like candy. Excuse me. He's not my boyfriend. And what is he? He's Jojo. God! I don't like him staying in my hotel. Then evict him. How'd you get mixed up with someone like that in the first place? Jesus, Dad, do you expect me to do it? It's your hotel. I just don't want any trouble. Then get used to it. Jojo's the boss on this street. Nothing anybody can do about it. What's the trouble? None of your business. One of the neighborhood thugs, Jojo. He thinks he owns the block. I can straighten him out. Just tell me where he is. I get some rough people in here, but this guy, I don't know, he's jumpy. He's just a punk. I'll take care of it. Can you help me out? I could really use a gun for protection. I would rather not arm a civilian. You weren't gonna shoot nobody anyway, Jesus. What am I going to do? Besides, it's against the law for civilians to carry weapons. Tell that to the gangsters. He uh, wasn't gonna stand up to Jojo anyway. Kinda wish, wish that, uh... He pays off the cops so there's no... He wasn't gonna stand up to Jojo anyway. Uh, okay. We read that one. Where is Jojo? I mean, I've been... Is this Jojo? Oh, you bad. Keep out of the way. You're 
save my life. I was hoping I'd run into that punk. Are you nuts? You almost got yourself killed. You can relax now. No more getting bossed around. <sighs> no thanks to you. If it wasn't for JC, we'd both be dead. You want to go through your whole life with guys like Jojo? Is that it? I thought there was going to be... I can't stand this place. This I is... think you'll be happier without that guy around. I'm leaving. I'm getting on a bus and going west until I run out of money or get to the ocean, whichever comes first. Come on, Sandra. I just wanted to help. He said he was going to chill out. Back this time. I mean it. I'm leaving. Don't leave. Around here, all you can be is a bum. I'm not gonna live like that. I kinda wanted to kill him. I mean, I still can. Terrorist attack at LaGuardia. The recent terrorist attack on Liberty Island and the resultant reprisal by UNACO forces appears to have spilled over onto a private airfield at LaGuardia Airport, where fighting is still ongoing at last report. All inbound flights are being rerouted to John F. Kennedy Air International Airport, while outbound flights have been suspended until further notice. Look for further updates as more information becomes available. Page donates to area clinics. Today, Bob Page made a record donation of over 10 million credits to the clinics and hospices associations of New York. Uh, the largest private donation in the organization's history, all strained uh, to the breaking point by the influx of patients suffering from the Great Death. The donation was a gift from God, according to Ray Kobo, deputy director of Chani. This couldn't have any... Oh, there we go. Uh, I was looking where where they get that acronym from. This couldn't have come at a better time and should allow us to dramatically improve our services. It was the right thing to do, commented Paige. When I was in New York recently, the suffering I saw on the streets was unconscionable. Thomas Aquinas, a personal icon, worked his entire life to erase such terrible, ease such terrible pain. This is the very least I could do. And he is really into Thomas Aquinas. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and quick save here. See if we can go into some of these places we've been in here before. Who's this guy? Your buddies at Unatco asked us to steer people away from the Tan. <laughs> they boarded this window up, so I can't keep breaking in. Free clinics boarded up too. Didn't Bob Page just donate 10 million credits to clinics uh, in New York? <laughs> you know, I'm kind of curious what could be down here potentially, so. I guess everyone's still dead from the last time I was here. Interesting. Got 60 skill points, that's pretty cool. Didn't find anything, okay. Didn't find anything. This room looks much smaller than the last time I was here. What was it? It was MJ12, and then it was coup d'etat, and I think, oh, okay, well that still works. Security, door access, uh, open. Oh, 
Jeez, I don't know. We could try. Let's go ahead and quick save and check it out. I think I can go under. Shit. This is a dead body. That's not one of mine. You know what? I think they cleaned house. That's why these people are still here. Was it two one two seven one two one six seven? Ooh, almost ran off the edge there. Not good. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, these guys are dead. They're not unconscious, which means that somebody killed them. Which means that, um, like I said, somebody's cleaning house. I think they killed all their, their guys. So there'll be no witnesses down here. This Majestic 12 people aren't very... Oh, and they caved this in, too. Shit. You know what? Let's go down there and grab stuff just in case. I don't know if the water's dangerous or not. It probably is, though. Yeah, that's dangerous. Sorry, we're not gonna do that. Alright, so... I think we're done in here. Okay, MJ-12. I feel like Mankind Divided had a reference to this little area. Uh, there's a place in the sewers. I think you have to rotate a bridge in there too or something similar. Okay. Let's get out of here. Apparently there's... Yeah, there's no point. I'm not going to bother with the other one either. Let's go in the bar, see what's going on. This guy again. Here's a tip for free. Take cover. Yanako's about to do a raid. All they said was, clear out, we're coming in. Hmm. Good to see you Yanako boys know how to Seem to be anybody here? Guess because of the impending raid. Millennium Magazine. Alright, let's talk to this lady. Oh, I guess we can't. Hey, you know the Rentons, right? There's trouble at the Ton. Uh, really? He's dead? Surprised. I'm just glad to see that someone gives a damn about the Rentons. Yanatko seems to think they have bigger fish to fry. Nothing, but thanks. Guess I resolved that quest line with the, the Rentons, the girl and her father and all that. That's pretty cool. Ah, the reporter again. Perfect. Someone who can tell me about the raid. What I want to know is how my boss found out that I talked to you. You're the investigator. You tell me. I think one of us told him. If I knew him, I wouldn't have to question you. Now would I? Just answer one thing. Why are they closing the bar and clearing out the streets? What could be worse than the fighting earlier this evening? I wish I had an answer to that, but even if I did, it wouldn't be any of your business. This is all supposed to take place in the same night? This is a little ridiculous. Let me take it. 
take that soy. I'm gonna take this wine too. I don't know if I'm gonna take the whiskey. Oh, let's go talk to Smuggler. See if he's got any stuff for us. Uh, the simmering gang war in Hong Kong exploded on the streets overnight when 10 were killed during an attack on a local establishment, the Lucky Money Club. Associated in the Wan Chai district, the Lucky Money Club has greatly been associated with, generally been associated with organized criminal activity. Eyewitness reports uh, were few, but local authorities uh, suspect that members of the Luminous Path Triad may have been involved in the attack. All 10 victims had extensive criminal records. Each was killed with traditional weapons, their throats savagely cut in an ancient ritual typically employed as a punishment for betrayal. Ten get and ding. Gang slang. So that's where we have to go for the NSF portion of the mission. What we're going to do right now is... Okay, can't go there. I'm going to go talk to... Well, oh, I totally forgot to investigate what the hell's going on over here. I totally forgot about this. Oh, you know what? I think I know. This is the back entrance to Smuggler's Hideout, I believe. Okay. Can't get in there. Can't get in there. No. And then I think some of the back alleys in Detroit, uh, in Human Revolution are more like how they are in this game. Honestly, guys, I think I know this is sacrilege. Now, I, I'm definitely being more endeared to this. I'm having a, a great time with this one, but like I said, I'm not crazy about the aesthetics and general design of a lot of the New York-based levels. In my opinion, it gets better later. Yes. Password. Bloodshot. Um, so far I would say Mankind, or, yeah, Mankind Divided is still my favorite. Uh, I really liked Invisible War as well. But I, now that I'm playing this and, and sort of playing with a lot of the gameplay features and stuff, I am understanding how, uh, people feel that this, that Invisible War really dumped down a lot of stuff and it had a lot of issues. I'm gonna see if that's gonna start becoming faster. Um, or I might switch shift to my AUG menu so that I can just grab stuff like immediately. Fire extinguisher, empty tool. So they put one right there. Okay. Hold on. Never saw this before. Oh nice, a light. Thought maybe it would have opened up that part of the garage. I hope Smuggler's still alive. Because I want to buy stuff off of him if he is. Tell Paul he better lay low for the next few hours. Now, what do you want? Anything for sale? Hey, about your brother. If he's in Hell's Kitchen, he's a sitting duck. So you heard that he went over to the NSF? Yanako's got this place nailed down. One thing they can't stand, an agent gone AWOL. Maybe I should prepare for the worst. What do you have for me? I have an extended clip that'll fit most handguns and rifles for 1,500 credits, a range weapon mod for 2,400, and a napalm canister that fits most flamethrowers for 2,250. Uh, Not interested. Yeah, I can't afford any of that, I think. The one I would want is the range extender, but... I mean, I guess I have enough for it, but I'm gonna try and save money for some other stuff I might need. But then again, it's not like they're our vendors, as we've discussed. The 
artificial radar, blah, blah, blah. I've hacked this terminal with the account. It should be active for the next few hours. 2013. Uh, oh, crap, crap, crap. All right. Well, didn't glean much from that. Talk of a raid on the top. Not much for me left. So lockpick. Turn on the lamp. The, it's two tools. I don't think I. You know what? Let's go ahead and quick save. If there's good stuff in there, I'm gonna take it. If not, um, Ballistic armor, weapon mod recoil, weapon mod clip. Nope, I don't need any of those. Yeah, we're not going to waste the multi-tools on that. Um, we can always come back here. I think we read this. Firearm safety. Uh, computer virus. Yeah, we read that. Computer virus cultivation. And the order of the Cincinnati from last time. That That's not here now, but that was pretty cool. I didn't know about that. I got to look that up. Tell Paul he better lay low for the next few hours. I don't think I saw any codes in there or anything. Well, that's a shame. I would have thought there'd been something cool. I mean, technically, yeah, we can buy stuff off of him. Uh, the range thing would be pretty cool. But I don't think I'm gonna need it necessarily. Okay. Let's go in the subway. Oh no, we can't go in. Hey, Mr. Unatco man, you guys going after Jojo? I'm not going after anybody. That's pretty logical. Him being hit out in the town. Jojo fine of the NSF? The whole street's a Unatco security zone. That's why they sent me down here. They're gonna take that punk out and no one's gonna miss him. You can forget about Jojo. I left him on his back in the hotel. Really? That's it? He's not going to be a problem anymore. Does that mean the evacuation's over? You better stay here until the police say it's okay. Strength infinite. Okay, that's what that means. Alright, I think once again the game is like, okay, we gave you a little open world segment, now we need to just play the game. And I'm like, but I want to explore. And it's like, no, 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 you gotta just, just play the fucking game. Bro. One World Banking, 3 Plaza, New York. Uh, Mr. Renton, as requested, we provide you with a copy of your bank account and PIN number. We appreciate your business and look forward to answering any other questions you might have. Account number 487659. 487659. Account number. I kind of feel bad about this. Uh, 249087. Yeah, I do, I do feel bad about this, but I'm going to take the money anyways because uh, I need it. Uh, account number, this is Renton's. For you guys who uh, may not have noticed, uh, the Rentons were the, the family we were helping out, the daughter who was working for JoJo, and I beat up her pimp. And then the guy who owns the Renton. Account number. Uh, 487659. He's always complaining about how broke he is, but we're going to put that to the test. Two four nine zero eight three. I gotta say too, the music for this bar is somewhat similar to the music. Seriously. Wait, it says five nine two four nine zero eight seven. Four eight seven six five nine two four nine zero seven two four nine zero eight seven. Okay, I just want to make sure I haven't lost my fucking mind. That was what was written out. I have to. Ugh. What is the point of writing it down? I, I bet you it's in my log too. I can just find it in my log somewhere, but still. Two four nine zero eight seven. So we're out. Four eight seven six five nine. Four eight seven six five nine. I 
I'm just gonna try it one more time, guys, but that pisses me off. That should be it. Four, eight, seven. Six, five, nine. Two, four, nine, zero, seven. Two, four, nine, zero, eight, seven. No, access denied. Okay, maybe it's another one of those, like, two-parters where I gotta find the other, like, the revised pin or something. This game really loves to let you know that just finding the pin somewhere is not really enough. This is like the Metal Gear Solid 3 ladder, this tunnel. Ooh, nice. Get out of here, garbage. They really want me to just, like, get kill everyone I see with the fucking shotgun, don't they? Too heavy to lift? It's a cardboard box. Oh my god, it's the same ammo everywhere I go. Okay, that's a friendly. Prod charge, fantastic. I thought they were shipping you off to Hong Kong. Had to pack a few things. What's going on here? Damage control. The NSF got their hands on some pretty sensitive material. Probably had something to do with my two-faced brother. Nothing we can't clean up. Mind if I take a look around? Go right ahead. I'm kind of curious if there's that much stealth in this one. I remember having to knock people out here, but I also remember not really paying attention to the story as much last time, so maybe I don't need to? Another med kit that's always nice. Get out of my way! Yeah, I think I started knocking all these guys out. Need the instructions and account information Lebedev sent me. One of our agents who tried to send the signal but got run off left the data cube in a secret area below the garage. Look for a hatch under some boxes. A computer on the third floor can unlock the hatch. Okay, that's not a real door. Or a normal door. Guess I'm okay to come in here. Yeah, here's the thing. I thought this was, like, way harder than it's supposed to be because I was, like... Um, I think I knocked every single one of these guys out last time I was here, or killed them. It's locked. Okay, that's not gonna work. You said near the garage, look for some boxes. Okay. I definitely hear something downstairs. is here. Okay, this is the garage. Maybe they meant over here. Nope, don't think so. this one I'm gonna be pissed I don't think yeah I can't pick these up even with uh, my strength mod nope now did I get an upgrade yeah I have an upgrade canister okay so here's what we're gonna do now actually I think it might be over here so this door. Alright, this is unlocked. Okay, Unite Code Troop, everyone's pretty chill. 
Go ahead and recharge me, repair bot. Set a computer on the third floor, we'll unlock it, okay. Hazmat suit, don't, well. Okay, I have spa, I have spots for it. I have space for it, but uh, we'll see. So he said some boxes in the garage. Yeah, this is the hatch. Okay, so we, now we need to go to a computer upstairs to try and open it. Yeah, I think I snuck through this entire building last time. What an idiot. Oh my god. In my defense, I really wasn't paying attention to the plot. something in there oh on off venting there we go excuse me so this is the third floor that's probably the security panel All right, guys, I gotta stop recording for just a little bit, uh, but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and save, and then I will finish up at least this mission, I think. Yeah, so I'll finish up this mission for sure, um, and that'll be the end of this episode, so just give me a second, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording. Okay, we're gonna finish up this part of the episode. I have confirmed that we are recording. Going back to Deus Ex right here. Okay, I'm gonna load our last save game. Okay. You're just obsessed with the up here, agent. What? What are you talking about? I can go where I want. Guess you have the command now. Yes, I do. Someone just told me I wasn't clear to be up here. This guy says I'm in command. What? All right. So, what are our goals? Hold on. Uh, investigate the capture of an NSF base to the west behind the bar to see if Paul is telling the truth. If he is, help Orbital Center get a stress signal from the satellite transmitter. Crime scene unit personnel only. Oh, come on, dude. Shut up. Alright, well, we just open the server room here. We will report this intrusion to Walton Science. That's fine. I don't give a shit. Stairs. What's this data cube say? 
Uh, all release halo and gas in the computer room to prevent any fires breaking out in case of assault. Obviously, anyone ending in the room unprotected will be suffocate. Use hazmat suit or pump out the gas before entering. If you need to perform any maintenance. Decker. Okay. Well, I already did that. We're gonna stay with the uh, hard saves. Just because these guys are acting a little squirrely that I'm even inside, I don't know what the problem is. We're all on the same team, man. But what's it for? Well, that's a dumb question. No, really. What does UNATCO need with that kind of money? Just look around. Think UNATCO would be handing out assault guns if funding was left of the UN? Well... The uniforms. If it wasn't for Simons, we'd still be wearing those little white helmets. Yeah. He's what they call a philanthropist. Ax this file? Yeah, all of it. The whole director. What I want to know is what he gets in return. Don't you know what a philanthropist is? Yeah, like Nietzsche. No, a philanthropist. Giving to charity. Oh. Well, that's why he volunteered for FEMA. To help out after hurricanes and that kind of thing. That's a lot of money to just give away. Some people are just good, you know. Good to the bone. Right. I'm with the other guy. He must be getting something out of it. It's locked. Okay. Of course it is. It's locked. Hmm. You know what I think I am going to do? I'm going to go into settings, uh, keyboard mouse, activate augmentation screen. We're going to set it to shift. So now, excuse me. Maybe shift is like a bad key. Sometimes games get annoyed with uh, certain keys. Let's try activate health screen, activate inventory screen, health screen, augmentation screen. Yeah, it just didn't like shift for some reason. What is F? I don't think F is anything. Let's. Oh, sorry. Settings, keyboard, mouse, center view. Oh, yeah. Pfft. Never mind. There we go. So let's try this. And then we can just go here and say activate. And then if we want it unactivated, we can just go down here and say deactivate. Which I personally like better thus far because having to try and find F12 in the dark and like go down at my keyboard and blah blah blah, it's, it's not really working out. So that should be better. It allows us to use our augs more uh, fluidly. Okay, we're going to go ahead and save. Go down here. I remember it's a total shit show down here. There's gas, there's lasers, there's all sorts of stuff down here. Let's go ahead and save, see if we can get over this damn laser without tripping it. Just so we can get back, you know. Oh, I guess 
we could have crawled too. That's fine. Either way. See, is there likely to be something behind this crate? I can't tell. I don't know. Let's go ahead. And we'll do our whatever thing, and we're going to say, go ahead and deactivate. There we go. See? It's already working. Get another lockpick. Get another multi-tool. Very nice. Hard save here. More lasers and a trap that will open up in the floor that we should be able to exploit. Little crate, that's not going to work this time. Oh, here we go. It's secure. Well then what the hell did this bypass? Oh <laughs> shit, what the hell happened there? You gotta be careful with those TNT crates, I guess. I don't know what this is supposed to bypass. Same mistake, but that took out two turrets. Oh, pfft, I blew my legs off. Fantastic. There needs to be a better way to drop, because, uh, you know, like in Thief, for example, there's throw and drop. Those are two different functions. Um, and in this game, it just seems to be drop. So let's try it again. I can't see. I took the wrong door. I really need to increase my pistol skills. This is awful. Alright, we're gonna make another hard save there. That might be one way to deal with this. Why am I saying it might be? That's clearly one way to deal with this. I guess that shockwave really hurts, huh? and save the game again. About to enter another non-ideal situation here.
Well, that was pointless. <laughs> this does not look like super fun to get through. We could try crouching underneath it. That worked. Okay, here we go. That's it. That's it for me. Not wasting a lock pick on that. Good. I don't think I found what I needed to yet, but we have 16 lockpicks and this one only takes two, so... I think this is where we need to be. All right, sounds good. Data cube. Paul, I'm sending this message from the point. Need to use the transmitter on the roof. Look around in that room. You should find records of the bribes Manley has been taking. Then get to the roof, JC. I need you to send that distress signal. McCollins and Revolution. Paul, I'm sending this message from the plane. Echo has been even more ruthless than we'd feared, and the reports I'm receiving now are that our people are being slaughtered in the tunnels. It's probably only a matter of time before I'm captured and executed, and I don't doubt that they'll kill everyone they can back at our headquarters. If you find this, you must get a message to our people. The line of the communications dish with the... Hold on. Uh, line of the communications dish using the satellite dish control computer. The login is M. Collins, and the password is Revolution. Um, nearby is the actual communications console. Login using... Oh, Napoleon and the same password. Okay, Collins. Napoleon. This is at the NSF base. Okay. Uh, and a coded warning will automatically bounce to everyone on our network. I can hear the gunshots. They've reached the plane. I'm sorry I won't be able to thank you in person. You've done much for the peoples of the world. JL. Two lock picks. That looks like some good stuff in there. Mm. Let's go ahead and make another hard save. We might do it. Weapon mod for accuracy. Um, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and use these. What? Can only use it on that? Oh, let's hang on to it. You never know. Go ahead and make another save. Go up to the roof and do our thing. Let's 
find that. I think there's a stupid med bot upstairs. Let's have him heal us so we don't have to waste any med kits. Really? Come on, man. Oh, someone opened this. Great. Young, I've got to assist our forces in the airfield, but I've prepped a security grid here in case of an attack. If UNACO does breach the perimeter, log in as T. Jefferson, and with the password, it should buy you some time at least long enough to get to the airfield. I know Aaron is looking forward to seeing you again. Don't disappoint me, Decker. Okay. Uh, T. Jefferson. New Revolution. We're going to have to save before we do those, because I have no idea what that's going to do. That sounds pretty uh, dicey right there. Here we go. You're not clear to be up here, Agent. You know what? I'm kind of curious if there's maybe because it says the the healing bot here. Maybe there's an odd canister in the basement. I would be surprised if there wasn't. Oh, okay. So it only happens for a certain period. Yeah, I'm just, I, I, I would be surprised if there wasn't an odd canister of some kind here.
Okay, guys, I just want to get this door open. I may need some of those uh, TNT boxes for some other stuff later, so. <laughs> Alright, we get it, we get it. That might actually help. I'll just wait for the gas to dissipate. We'll just have a party while it dissipates. I just want to make sure I've looted absolutely everything I can from down here. Let's go ahead and make a new save. I think in response to that I'm gonna try and take out this gun and then I can try and take out that gun too so Okay, let's just limp on over to wherever. This should be cleared out now, yes. That door is open. Ah, very nice. A tr EMP grenade, EMP grenade, rockets, rockets, and a hazmat suit, very nice. It's good that we're grabbing these EMP grenades. Those, those are worth it. Thank God that bot upstairs can heal. multi-tools I think I've gotten everything I need from down here. I don't think there is anything else. Uh, what's over here? Did we go over here yet? Or is this the bathroom area? Yeah, okay. Okay, fantastic. Let's go ahead and save the game again properly. Let's go into the server room and we're gonna go ahead and try this new login. T Jefferson New Revolution. Okay. I think it's just for the computer upstairs. On the roof. Do not follow me. Hey!
Are we finally gonna go? Let's go ahead and save the game. Um, T. Jefferson. New Revolution. T. Jefferson. Revolution. Okay, that's not the one we're gonna use. Okay, so the first one we're gonna use is M. Collins Revolution. Napoleon. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save this game again. Okay, T. Jefferson. This is really T. All right, so we're going to go. Okay, so this T. Jefferson Revolution thing, let's see, Jefferson Revolution, okay, that's not working there, I don't know why it's not working, so we're going to check it here real quick, T. Jefferson Revolution, who's there, there's one, it's dented, god oh, damn, the terrorist, god. what the fuck? All right, so actually F. All right, so we're gonna uh, activate this um, inventory. So we're actually going to knock these two guys out. Howdy, agent. Howdy, agents. Guess you have the command now. Okay. Let's name this uh, KO. And we're gonna try something here. When we need to escape. 
because it looks like we're gonna have to escape like that. I keep forgetting that that's what makes this part like not super easy. Oh, hold on. It's new revolution. Okay, well. Let's try it on this one. Okay, this guy hasn't seen us yet, so we're just gonna go ahead and save. Uh, new save game, that's fine. Fucking hit, Jesus Christ. I understand this is an RPG and some of it's based on my stats, but come on, bro. Like, seriously. I need a little consistency. I, you telling me I can't consistently knock someone out by walking up from behind them. Alright, so let's go ahead and consume whatever we can consume. Um, yeah, let's use the soy right now so we don't have to use any med kits. Okay, that's pretty good. But that, uh, yeah, that mod actually helped us escape, so we didn't have to, like, try and go down through all those guards or anything. So that was pretty cool. Now, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and make another save. Um, things are about to get pretty hairy, so. Huh, what should I do? What should I do? Well, first, let's check our augs. Bioelectric energy is pretty good. Um, skills, there we go, 1935, and if we want to upgrade melee weapons to master them, we only need one more upgrade, and that's 4500, we'll see what we get. So let's go down here. I don't see any Unaco people, so I think we're good so far. So, once again, before we go into our brother's house, we are going to get all equipped up. Um, I'm going to take this one. No, you know what? What should I do? Yeah. I'm going to replace this one with this, I believe. And we're also going to replace... Ballistic armor activated. Okay. So 
so we got our armor on let's go ahead and save again here we're gonna call it bro now if you played this game before something's about to happen and I'm going to try and prevent it from happening Used to- oh god, that's horseshit. It's on a timer? The ballistic armor? That's so stupid. It's okay, I'll, I'll activate my arm. Your buddy Chad should have received the signal. Come on, Unat goes after both of us. Good. He'll be able to get his people to their base in the Paris catacombs. Did you find the records we collected on that weasel Walton Simons? I have a question about Simons. The instant I sent the signal, he ordered the troopers to hunt us down. Why does FEMA have authority over Unatco? I thought FEMA was a domestic agency for flood relief and that sort of thing. His authority doesn't come from FEMA. He's part of a secret organization, Majestic 12. We don't know much more than the name. They plan to use FEMA as part of a scheme to shut down the U.S. government. Agent J.C. Denton, please put down your weapons and step into the hallway. Unatco! Come on, out the window. We'll meet Jock in Battery Park. I can't manage the climb. You go ahead. The code to the gate they installed at the subway station is 6282. I can't just leave you here. Open up. Don't be a fool. Run. Stay locked, please. We are full sanctioned. Fucked up my arm, but I think we. But I think we saved Paul, so we're gonna go ahead and. So Paul is typically supposed to die. I think it's even canon that he's supposed to die. But one of the cool things that they allowed you to do in this game, or I shouldn't say allowed you to do, more like prevented you from, or didn't prevent you from doing, uh, was saving your brother. So we're gonna go ahead and say saved Paul. Take care now, of yourself. I don't know if this counts as us saving him for sure because I don't know if we have to deal with all these assholes in the hallway now. So what we're gonna do? I saved. Uh, I'm gonna go check the rest of the hotel. Our smuggler get me to Hong Kong. He owes me a favor. You meet Jock in Battery Park. Oh sweet. Okay, I think he's saved. I'm gonna go out the window because, I, yeah, I don't think I can. Uh, you know. That's not my build. I don't think I can survive all that. But you guys notice that I saved... For this one, I saved all the Sabat rounds for to take those guys out, which work. I mean, they punch hard because those guys are like, I don't know, they have like metal... I don't know if they're, they're cyborg... They're cyborgs or something like that. Anyways, so we're going to go back to our stealth pistol here. Uh, I didn't care about killing those guys. I was going to do a no-kill run. I think I'm just going to try and not kill people that are... If I can avoid it. There's certain people that it's just like, fuck it. Like, you can't really take care of those guys without killing them. So, unfortunately, we're out of lamb mines. Um, I don't know if I want to keep this 10mm pistol, but wh whatever. Anyways. Uh, so, we're back to our normal inventory for the most part. Um, let's actually go back to our baton. For slot 4. And that should be good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh! Shit, hold on. Okay, now the augs are deactivated. 
probably should have checked that. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. I can use a few bio cells. Ooh, there's a the guy there. You know, I could probably snipe him with the uh, crossbow from here. Oh, yeah. Probably want to heal because uh, I'm going to be all over the place with accuracy. So, first off, let's go into inventory, eat the rest of whatever. Um, I've got... I'm not going to drink all the beer because then I'll be fucking drunk. So, and then we'll go into health. For sure heal the left arm. Shit, we're running out of... Okay. Let's make another save here. If he wants to come fight, he can come fight. Real quick, let's check our conversations. Paul Denton. I'll be alright, go. Blah, blah, blah. Simons. Okay. Hallway, Unico. Uh, 6282 is the code to get back into the subway tunnels. Okay, so we took that guy out. Shit, I hear another one. Fuck. That's a lot of guards. Let's try going this way. Shooting. Just gonna use my camo to get the hell out of here. They're trying to kill you or something? Can I deactivate whatever is I'm wearing? I guess not. Well, I guess that's it for my camo. Another save. Let's go ahead and save game again here. Don't know if there are any guys here. Is this gonna hurt me? No, I don't think so. Okay, what are the goals now? Find Jacques' helicopter in Battery Park, the only way to get okay, the code's uh
There is no escape. You will surrender. Another peacekeeping occupation? Not any better. They expect us to take you alive. Paul is already dead. Is Paul really dead, though? Hold on, just a second, guy. to redo this uh here comes your okay hold on i'm gonna load game saved paul yeah i'm gonna load this so okay i'll be all right go what it says actually is if you I just looked it up it says even if you leave through the window right I'll have smuggler get me to Hong Kong he owes me a favor you meet Jock in Battery Park and they're still going at it See him. I need you to escape. I can cut power to the door only a few seconds without being detected. Get ready. Hold on, let me check something. Be all right, go. So we're gonna try this again. Hold on, I'm going to put the gas grenade in my inventory here and gonna go ahead and equip it. <laughs> okay, hold on. Be all right, go. Okay. I think it's kind of bullshit that uh, body armor just degrades over time. Like it should, de it, like most other games where it's like an extra thing, it should degrade um, 
as it takes damage. So you just equip it and then, you know, you can take some more damage. But that's uh, the way it works here is like total horse shit. Okay, alright. So now we only have five damn health kits. Shit, we're so screwed. Um, and I'm gonna... Yeah, gas grenades... Really have no idea how to do this. Um, all right, guys. Well, actually, I think that's a good place to end the episode. I'm getting a bit tired. It's fucking late. Um, I'm having trouble like paying attention to or even thinking about what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so, um, if it's gonna be that much of a pain in the ass to save Paul, see, I thought all we had to do, and technically that's all we have to do. We have to just kill the majestic agents that, because uh, that's what I thought. You just have to kill the majestic agents that um, try and attack him. The problem is, is that. If you leave through the window, that triggers um, the uh, story path where Paul is dead. Um, so, that's no good. Um, so what we want, or at least what I want, is to try and save him. Now, I thought if I blanketed the room with uh, gas bombs, and then I just ran the hell through there, I could, because I saved him already, and then I could just try that, and we'll see if that works. Um... Yeah, yeah, we'll see if that works, uh, but I'm going to do that tomorrow because I'm getting tired right now. So once again, thanks for joining me, guys, on uh, the Deus Ex Let's Play. Let's hope we can figure out a way to officially save Paul, because I, I thought that it was weird when he's just like, your brother's already dead. I'm like, what are you talking about? I totally saved him. So, you know, people talk about Deus Ex like, oh, yeah, it's so interactive and it really responds to like, honestly, if, if you saved him and then you leave through the window, that shouldn't matter. You know what I mean? Because he said, I'll be fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, we will, I'll try it again getting out the front, but if it's just too difficult, then I'll load that old save where we just got out and, and Paul will have to be dead, which is unfortunate, but we're gonna, we may have to do it like that, because I'm kind of ready to move on from the New York sections of this, of this game. Um, I, the next up, I believe, is, um, uh, is Hong Kong, which is, like, one of my favorite parts of the entire game, and that's where the globetrotting really starts, um, well, that's sort of. Uh, you do have to go back to New York again after that. But then after that, it's a, it's a lot better in my opinion. So, um, anyways, guys, once again, thank you for joining me for this Let's Play. And I hope you guys are looking forward to the next episode. That's it for me.